What it good be, hopefully this is what it should be. This is your boy, N-A-O-N-A-A. What up, it's DJ EFN. And this is motherfucking military me Crazy Raw Radio. Drink Champs, Yappy Hour, award winning. Uh -huh. Motherfucking, <laughs> make some noise! <laughs> now, last time we had this brother on here, our numbers went through the roof. I mean, we were, whew. And let's just, just for, for people that don't know, the man is a genius. Musical genius, lyrical genius, uh, fashion icon. He can wear a rubber shirt, and you're gonna wear it. <laughs> Cause that's how influential he is. <laughs> right now, last time he came here, he said, cancel me. He pointed to himself, he said, cancel me. They did not cancel him, they could not cancel him. Right now, it's a little turmoil. We're going to get to it. We're going to ask the questions. We're going to do whatever. I asked him if anything is off the record. He said, absolutely nothing. But we're going to give praises and love to the one, the only, Mr. Yay! Make some noise! <laughs> now, Yay, I want to start. I want to start because, you know, um, the, the, the very famous interview was you and Sway, right? And then... Um, you saying that you wanted to be like Ralph or you wanted to be up there with that caliber. And now it's like you are Ralph. You are that caliber. And then so I guess what I'm trying to say is, so that's where we get confused with Did the- Did Sway uh, have the answers? No, yeah, yeah, I think you already admitted Sway had the answers. <laughs> yeah. But the, the, I guess that's where we get confused with the Adidas uh, part of it is because like- didn't like, like that's that's how you became a billionaire, right? Through through the Yeezy. So like, what what was the discrepancy with with Adidas? You know, I just didn't have the relationships with the factories mm. at that time, and I was managing a lot of ideas. Like I was a you know a, a new dad. Mm. I was newly married. Mm -hmm. I had a bunch of team, like a big team of designers with me, and we, we hadn't established who we were. We were still fighting to get our respect mm -hmm. in fashion, so there's a lot of fights at the same time. So we had to go and basically, like, intern almost up under these companies. Because you intern for Louis Vuitton at one time, yeah. right? Okay. Louis Vuitton, mm -hmm. Fendi, mm -hmm. uh, and we interned, in a way, at Adidas. Mm -hmm. I Like, the licensing deal was my intern to become, uh -huh. you know... More in that uh, Bernard Arnault, Bezos, right. Right. Elon territory. Mm -hmm. And just understanding how to, you know, how money works. Mm -hmm. Like, this is first generation. Mm -hmm. Like, you can say, like, look at, like, Jay with the Duce. Right. This is first generation right. of wealth. Right. And learn those infrastructures, right? Yeah, the infrastructure is how to do a factory. Even right now, like, when I left Gap, I moved, uh, we made this T-shirt, like, all the tremendous stuff we're doing right now, which is a flip on Supreme, where... Mm -hmm. Uh, the guy that used to work for me, mm -hmm. uh, Tremaine, mm -hmm. is now at Supreme. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, uh, we can go further into that uh, a little okay, bit later. later but no for the problem. main point is, so I took it over to Dove Charney at L.A. Apparel. Mm -hmm. And he used to, he founded Los Angeles Apparel. So then uh, we made the White Lives Matter tease. Mm -hmm. And then when I put up the, the tweet, the DEF CON tweet, now nah, he, ain't, he ain't releasing the tease. Because mm. he's Jewish. Mm. And I'm like, see, this is my exact point that I'm mm. making. Mm. Like, Jewish people have owned the black voice, mm. whether it's through us wearing a Ralph Lauren shirt or it's all of us being signed to a record label or having a Jewish manager or being signed to a Jewish basketball team mm. or doing a movie on a Jewish platform like Disney. Mm -hmm. And... 
we understand it's like I, I, I respect what the Jew, Jewish people have done and how they brought their people together. Mm -hmm. You know, they came into money uh, through the lawyers mm -hmm. when uh, after Wall Street, when um, when all of the um, like the Catholics, they wouldn't they wouldn't divorce people. Right. So the right. Jewish lawyers came and they were willing to divorce people. That's when they first came into their money. So like say with me and Jay, with our our culture, mm -hmm. with the with the darker Jews. Well, first just, of all, because you got to happens when anybody start talking deep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. With the yeah. dark with the darker Jews, the twelve lost tribes of, mm -hmm. of Israel, who we mm -hmm. are, because we Jewish also. We right. we from Africa also. We the blood yeah. of Christ. So we're not just black. We are Jew, just like the Jewish people. And now we're coming into money. But the main thing is, I got to drink the Douce over the Hennessy mm -hmm. as the first step to us coming together, like how the Jewish people came together. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't even talk about... I remember Ben Horowitz called me after 444 and said, I don't know about Jay giving up business, Jewish business secrets. Mm -hmm. And these secrets... Said, we, we were talking about um, building up uh, uh, the, the properties and stuff like that. Yeah, on four, four, four. these secrets can't... They not finna be a secret no more. Like, if somebody mm -hmm. tells me something, it's like, yo, I want to tell you this, but it's a secret. I'm like, I'm not your personal hard drive. <laughs> like, if you want to be a secret, <laughs> don't tell me. Right. <laughs> I'm not here to keep nobody's secrets because right. it's only the truth that's going to set us free. And what they do is the Jewish community especially in the music industry, they'll take, in the entertainment period, they'll take one of us, the brightest of us, right, that mm -hmm. can really feed a whole village, and they'll take us and milk us till we die, and then Stevie Wonder's son got to get a job, mm -hmm. right? But Camera Azoff got a job at Apple. He, I right. mean, he, he's already set up right. because of the way Azoff is connected, and we have to make our own connections. That's what I saw... What I loved about it, I preach. I love mm. Dove just as a human being. As and this a, is the guy from Adidas. Dove is from oh. American Apparel. Okay. But I'm talking about put out my White Lives Matter tee. The White Lives mm. Matter tee don't say nothing. It don't say Defcon and nothing on it, right? Mm. I'm like, put it out, and he's telling me like, yo, I want you to visit the Holocaust Museum. And I was like, yo, I want you to visit Planned Parenthood. That's our Holocaust Museum. Mm. Mm. I'm like, yo, I put my life on this mm. at this point because they've been fucking with me too long. They put, they put the crazy narrative out there. My Jewish trainer, Harley Pashenak, who's Lizzo's trainer, right. uh, put it out when I went to the hospital, put it in the press. Oh, I wow. got a bunch of friends that went to the hospital. It didn't go to the press. They did that just like they did in the documentary on the third episode to okay. say, we love Ye like the rest of y'all. We know he a genius like the rest of y'all, but sometimes you got to turn the camera off on them. So they'll go and get a dude that's supposed to be my friend that's been taping me the whole time and buy this nigga out for $30 I, I million. Co, I thought you co-signed that. I ain't co-signed it, but oh. you you get used to that. Paparazzi taking a picture of you, you ain't getting no money off it. Right. You just get used to getting screwed by the mm. Jewish media. Mm. And I'm saying, y'all done poked the bear too fucking long. When I wore the White Lives Matter tee, they, I had four SoFi Stadium shows. They canceled my shows. I said it's up. And let me tell you one thing. It's like if a black man is caught with something in the car or something, everybody in the car going to go to jail with, with him, right? But if a black man can play basketball or rap, only he gets the record deal. So meaning like if one black man does something bad, all the other blacks get caught with him. If one black man does something good, nobody else gets nothing with him. It's a reverse for the Jewish people, right? right. If, if a Jewish person could repeatedly fucks me on a deal, it's right. just them. It's just the businessman. It's not the people. It's not nobody else. Right. But if a Jewish person does good, all of their people eat with them. That's one of the flips. I got to tell you something. Where is a black guy that has a Jewish person signed to him? Point it out. Tell me that. Mm. Where is a black person that's signed to a Jewish person? All of them. Basically, 90 basically 90 uh 90 percent of them so what i'm saying is y'all done poked the bear too many times y'all should have learned with drake y'all should have learned with puff y'all should have learned with hove y'all dealing with a different kind of animal here you know everybody wants to say i'm 7 30 well i'm gonna use that to my advantage i told y'all i was the leader i told y'all i'm gonna free my people mm -hmm in the name of God, 
and I will put my life at risk. Because if I wasn't in a glass prison, just like Larry Hoover's in a real prison, right. then I would have had to say so when my kids go to school. I go into my kids' school, I see Hanukkah books, then I see Kwanzaa. Christmas is Christ's mass. Where's Jesus in the school where all the celebrities are paying you said for their kids to go? Cell? I'm sorry. What did you, did you like, say? like a, like, hey, I'm talking about. Right, but ain't nobody right, listening here, to me right, type right, shit. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm in like a glass box of like right. celebrity with a bunch of handlers around me and shit. Right. And people colluding behind my back and being like, is he ramped up? What right. we gonna say now? What I told y'all, because I talked to Larry Jackson last night and he was like, yo. From iTunes. Yeah, but now he's got his own deal. He said, he started telling me how Clive Davis changed his life. Mm. And I talked to him for six minutes. He said, well, usually we talk back and forth. I said, Larry, this is my life, though. Mm -hmm. I'm letting you know so you can let everybody know what it is. Mm -hmm. What it is at this point. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm not afraid. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid of y'all no more. Right. And we don't have to be afraid. I understand that they got us so paid off every which way they cutting down. And my whole point just off the tweet, the fact that, what does that even mean, what I said? And the fact that I got taken off proves my point. Jamie Lee Curtis went on TV and said, I hope they take his children away from him. Wow. I hope they take his children away from him. Everybody they put out, Triple X, Tupac, that's what Larry was saying. Right. My response was, well, I guess I'm next then. Right. Because it's no backing down at this point. I talked to Q because Q been labeled an anti-Semite. First of all, we are Semite. Right. We Jew. So I can't be anti-Semite. Right. First of all, I need my four stadiums back. The 78 media outlets that call me abuser, when I was trying to get that heroin addict away from my kids that was tattooing my kids' names on them, Skeet, right, right. Pete Davidson, right. they popping up. You know what I'm saying? It's like they, uh, Trevor Noah, not even from America, right. he just looked black, right? right? Uh, gonna tell, gonna say, yo, Kim, it's gonna get dangerous. So they putting all that, he crazy. He's so OJ. Right. My, Nori just want the family back together. Right. I just want the family back together. Right. Kim is a Christian. On TMZ, I just saw yesterday, they said, Pete Davidson and Kim have sex by the fireplace to honor their grandmother. It's Jewish Zionists that's about that life, that's telling this Christian woman that has four black children to put that out as a message in the media. So when I drive by and I see the Hulu ads, and I say to J.P. Chase Morgan ads, I'm gonna let y'all know right now, the devil is a defeated foe. You can't poison me. And by the way, y'all done already fuck with me so much. Y'all already black mirrored me. You already made everybody think I'm crazy. You already took my family away. You already separated all my friends. I don't got no celebrity friends. Because when I was on TV, on Instagram saying, I don't know where my child is, and the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public, and I didn't have the address of my child. None of these niggas that want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address, though. Travis right? gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't give a fuck who, because you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks because you did a deal, you fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me, because part of the deal for you to be a do all that da, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my coat co car. So y'all niggas shut the fuck up about me. Now, let me say it calm. You niggas shut the fuck up about... <laughs> you shut the fuck up about Michael. Right, right. I'm Michael now. Right, Every right. Michael you can think of, right. but mostly Godfather Michael now. No, no, no. I'm Michael now. <laughs> I'm Michael now. I am the richest. Right. Right. They say you're the richest black man in American in, history. In history. In American in history. Can we make some noise for that? God damn it. Yeah. Come on, please. So I want y'all to I want y'all to run up on me. No. I want I want y'all to come kill me. No. I want you to smack me. No. I want you to do all the shit you rap about. No. All, hold on, no. all the shit you rap about. I want all the shit you rap about. I want you to come do it now. Come down to this joint right now, please, please. Or otherwise, shut the fuck up. Unless you was there when the Kardashians kidnapped my kids. You understand? Now go and get y'all some motherfucking business while we go and get free. Because I'm Moses out here. You know what I'm saying? I, I watched the George Floyd documentary that Candace Owens put up. 
One of the things that his two roommates said was, they want a tall guy like me. They want a tall guy like me. And the day when he died, he said a prayer for, you know, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. He said a prayer for eight minutes. They hit him with the fentanyl. If you look, the, the guy's knee wasn't even on his neck like that. When he said, mama, mama his, is his girlfriend. They said he screamed for his mama. Mama was his girlfriend. It's in the documentary. But something that hit me, that fucked me up when I was watching the documentary, and it said they want a tall guy like me. When I looked at that image of him, this tall black dude with the bald head, he reminded me of somebody else. Who do you think he reminded me of? Virgil. He reminded me of Virgil. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna cry in front of y'all because that's right. how they get me, right? Right. But I know that we lost him. And I know that this white company, Louis Vuitton, is now making statues of him, like right. as a martyr. And we don't know why exactly. We say it's cancer. But I yeah. mean, I mean, I'm, mm -hmm. all right, I want to be careful with this subject because. Wait a second, but tell me, mm -hmm. could you even really run this interview? Because Mav yeah. didn't run my interview. Right. You got know what I'm saying? They blocked me out. The Jewish media blocked me out. This shit lit, right? I'm lit, right? Mm -hmm. I'm lit. Yeah. I'm lit. You know what I'm saying? JP Morgan, I put $140 million yeah. into JP Morgan and they treated me like shit. So if JP Morgan Chase is treating me like that, how they treating the rest no, of y'all? That's outrageous, Shoot. yeah. And this, this murder was for Chase accounts. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I am outraged. Mm -hmm. By the time people always, they want to calm it down. Because no matter what, you didn't yeah. break no law. I didn't break a law. No matter I didn't what, break a the, law. The bank shouldn't be a judge or jury on right. anything that's going on. But this is, it's, right. it's like a social contract. Candace Owens has a word for it, I'm forgetting. But it's basically like, they told Candace Owens she couldn't hang out with me. You know, I'm here, because I ain't have no outlet. I was on yeah. Tucker Carlson, right? right? And people, Trump supporters, they think it's so, you know, they think it's nice that a black guy supports Trump. Yeah. But it's like, would they really support me once I, when I, when I do? Because they said, legally, I'm not, allowed to say what's happening in 2024. Mm -hmm. But all those people that love me when I run against, when, when, I, when I wore the hat, right, would they, would they support me? I got to say something about the hat. That's one of the things that really drove me to the edge. Talking about the MAGA hat. Just the MAGA quick, hat. Right? Imagine your own wife telling you, oh, the hat, small dick energy. Meanwhile, the Clintons got them trying to get people to get vaccinated. Mm. I know somebody, I'm not going to say his name, where Kim and Chris got on the phone with them trying to get them to push the vaccination to black people. Meaning that's how in tuned and how aligned with the Clintons but, that the Kardashians were through Corey. No. Through Corey. Corey is a plant. Corey was, you know, Puff Daddy, Nanny, Manny. You got what I'm saying? Then he was with, Dr with Justin Bieber when Justin Bieber got in trouble. And then when... Bruce did a transition to Caitlyn. He popped up. Now he run around like he Kylie daddy. But he's there for the agenda and controlling the power of that family. Three of that, three, four of those people in that family have been raised Christian by Rob Kardashian. Mm. I know y'all want a question, but uh, did no, you no, ask something right there? Man. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. I think you just got to let some of this yeah, out. Yeah, so yeah. And then we it's, it's, not, it's not even venting or inventing. It's just, it's up, you know? They didn't, they didn't fuck with me too long. Right. Every time they say my name wrong, right. it's like they calling me Cassius. Mm. My name, Ali. Mm. Right. If I mm. change my name, you respect that I changed my right. name. It shows you the level of disrespect. Every time they say one of my outfits are bizarre. When the last time you read a headline and they called me a billionaire? For three years, Forbes wouldn't say I was a billionaire. Mm. It's all to diminish me so y'all wouldn't listen to me. So mm. say when I did the Ye and Drake show, right? Mm. It's so funny. I look up and it say Ye, D-R-K, right there. But uh, I just... Oh, I look, that's how it's, you it, see it. It, it. It's just a similarity to it. You dyslexic like me? I'm, I'm Yeah, absolutely. Jim and I dyslexic. Left-handed, made to be right-handed so oh. I could fit in. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> all right. That's all right. All right. All right. Continue. All right. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another shot. No, I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Yeah. This is a lot. Only, this is a lot. Yeah, only, I'm gonna be honest. Only, only the do say. Yeah, okay. Only the do say. This is, this is beautiful. Yo, mm. think about like Nike. Nike is 
as popular as Apple, but it's company number 321. Apple's number one. Ap Nike's on defense. It's Whoa. not on offense. Whoa. Right? Because, because niggas love Nike. Right, so Nike is used for political influence because it's not about the money you make, it's about the position you have. Mm. So when they signed me to Gap, it wasn't to raise a stock price, it was to be able to be like, to tell the Fortune 500 companies that do deals with China, to tell them, hey, Gap has influence in the underserved communities. Right. That was what I the deal was beat. about. That's the girl part. Are you? The same reason why I was in a Kardashian situation. So you would but, feel... But, but hold on, let yeah. me ask you something, because as a person <laughs> that when we first seen the Gap deal, right, yeah. um, we understand that, that, that rich motherfuckers ain't going in the Gap, but you yeah. know what? They was going in the Gap because of you, mm -hmm. and, it was going to, and it said, powered by Balenciaga. But then you walk into the to the store, and then there's these clothes that's just on the floor... Is that, bag, is that degrading to somebody that's rich that want to come in there and support you? We or? should degrade the rich. Everybody is dirt. Everybody on the same level beneath God. Because we'll hop over. That was all. <laughs> <What? Yeah. laughs> I wasn't ready. Yeah. 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 You know, we'll, we'll walk over a homeless person at, uh, to get to the Gucci store. Mm. Terrible. Ray Kurzweil said a utopia is possible where we're led by the least noble and the greediest people. Mm. I brought the head designer a Balenciaga, the greatest designer on our planet today, to Dimna. Dimna is the yay wow. of, of clothing. Dimna is the Drake mm. of clothing. Mm. Drake, Drake is the greatest rapper ever. And you said and, and in, I don't, in war? I don't, I don't apologize about it. You said and, in war he held fuck your baby's mother's mother? Yeah, that was hard. That was, that was hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like, what's going on? What, 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 what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, pretty self like, like, We yeah. was confused. You know what it means. So, <laughs> God damn it. And, and I put like, Corey know what it means. Corey, oh my God. So, um. <laughs> yes. ay, ay, ay. Let me get another one. <laughs> so let me bring out the yeah, be easy. Oh my God! I'm sorry, go ahead, continue. Libra, happy birthday! Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> Yay yeah. is out there. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, speaking of that, are you are you single? Or are you are you back in the market? You finger you finger popping you finger popping yeah. out there? What you doing? <laughs> what you doing out there? Yeah, you know I'm the type of person I I I, I go I'm more grow from girlfriend to girlfriend. Like I mm. like I like focus. You know Ooh, I like to. You. Like I say, would it amuse you if I amused you? Mm. Like, I like to make a girl my muse. Mm. I like to take them and, you know, take them o overseas or mm. something like that. I like to get them Birkins. I might even get a girl a house. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm just on some, like, ridiculously rich shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just do everything. <laughs> 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 the homeless guy to get to Gucci. You know? <laughs> remember, we gotta go back to Gap. We gotta go back to Gap. Well, well, well. No, because we can't have them homeless. We can't have them homeless. No, no but one day, one day. Ridiculous <laughs> rich shit. One day I'm singing one of my favorite songs. I'm like, um, Yo, life in the change right now. That was about Cheney. Uh, uh, okay. Dick Cheney? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, but I was singing it. No, at first, you know, the funny thing, it was about Stas and then Stas, Kylie's friend, uh -huh. and she was scared to come down to the studio because, um, you know, the life was finna change right now? Because the Kardashians got, got okay. her threatened, so uh -huh. then I just took her name off. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And then, but the thing, it's like a mix, because I could like be kind of, I could like a couple girls at one time, and I'll put that together in a verse. So right. some of the stuff is like specifically Cheney and some of the stuff is more mm -hmm. Stas. Cause and then I and then you know at the end of the day, it's all gospel, right? So right. we could be inspired by what God made through the female's beauty, but at the end of the day, we gotta give it all to God. Uh -huh. So at the end of the song, 
It says, Stassi, baby, why you twerk so crazy? I want to be on an airplane, because it's a twerking video. She on the airplane. I played it for Trav. He started laughing. Uh, so, but then Over I, my head. But then I switched. I said, Lord, take me where you want to take me. Too much drama lately. Your no, life is going to change right now. <laughs> your life is going to change right now. Balenciaga for all, all your friends. Her best for the argument. <laughs> Your life better change right now. Okay, let me talk about Balenciaga. Okay. I'm Balenciaga that. <laughs> Just in case you don't know, I study. Yeah. So I did my sure. part. Oh, and I got, <laughs> I, I got the lights lighting up, too. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I've been, since you did the last interview, yeah. I've been Balenciaga. Y'all, you know, the, my, they, my nickname is Yala. So yeah. now they call me Balenciaga. That's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, uh, I killed that. <laughs> I killed that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, so... <laughs> Balenciaga. Balenciaga has the best design because they have the best designer. Period. And that's not you? I'm more like a Steve Jobs type. You know, you should say to Steve, like, yo, you don't even program. Mm -hmm. You know, I would never disrespect a designer that been to school and that can cut and mm -hmm. have dedicated their whole life and call myself a designer. Mm -hmm. I'm more an imag imagineer. I'm a mm -hmm. visionary. Mm. And I, I place the pieces of our culture together. Even right now, you know, I want to bring joy and laughter. So even if, say, say if say say we wanted to, like, look at the interview and, mm. and we have a conversation out and say, look, do we need this first segment? Let's just do the shit that's, like, mm. you know, it's controversial because people right. ain't going to really name names, but right. it's funny still. Right. Right. I think about that. It's like... We need joy. It's too much pain. Right. You Definitely. know, it's too much anger. Right. And it's too much trauma economy. You right. know, I'm not going to be like, you know, I, you know, I talk about the left, the Democrats, and how they pray mm -hmm. with BLM on our mm -hmm. outrage. Mm -hmm. You know, even when I put up the DEFCON 3 uh, tweet, I was outraged at this point. What does DEFCON 3 mean? It's like level of... Like you know, end. actually, when I'm it's really DEFCON... It's, Def it's like nuclear war yeah. shit. Like I, I, spell, I spelled it wrong. I have a tendency to do that. But right. DEFCON is actually that you're preparing to right. protect yourself. Mm. Because that's what I did. Because if they're... Once they cancel four SoFi stadiums because of what's classified as wrong think, right. because you have group think, right. it is very important to have the black vote be in group think and to not separate from the thought and be in completely in line with the agenda of the left, the Jewish media, and the Chinese. That's a lot of Chinese things got something to do with it? They got something to do with everything. This is my issue with Jared Kushner. Say, okay, so I went to a dinner, right, with Josh Kushner, Jared Kushner, and Ivanka. I'm always saying her name like that. <laughs> so... We know what that means. <laughs> That's a different ring to it. Go ahead, continue. No, me and Ivanka, nothing never Cause, happened. Cause but it's so, I, it's, I, it's, I it's so, with you and Jared one yeah, time. Yeah, it's so funny, though, because me and Drake, you know, before Donda came out, we, we met up at the studio, and 80% the, the of the time, I'm just talking about how much I love Future and how I want to work with him mm -hmm. and how, you know, he's, you know, the most influential you know, artists of the past 10 years. Mm -hmm. He had the most number ones in history now, but mm -hmm. wait for you. So we was right about that, right? Mm -hmm. So, and he says, yo, I just want to tell you, you know, nothing ever happened, you know, who, with Kim. Who, Future? No, you this is this is what Drake told me. Oh, this I'm is only talking to Drake about Future, really. Like, okay. I'm like, yo, I love Future. This is after y'all squashed the beat, after this the concert? This is when we were squashing it, okay, right? Okay. This is the when we, we squashed it tw twice last year. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, and then when me and Jay Prince uh, went to um, go see him. I got another funny story about that. Oh, well, love so, you. Um, uh, so, so then Drake says to me, yo, uh, no, no, no I'm gonna, I need to tell the story like this. So, basically, uh, you know, Jared Kushner asked Steve Stout, like, yo, just tell me, like, did Ye fuck my wife? And Steve Stout was <laughs> like... No, Ye never, ne, ye never, ne, never did nothing. So when I went to the White House, um, I saw Jerry. I was like, yo, I want to just tell you, nothing ever happened. He's like, yo, I don't know what you're talking about. I was like, yo, and I grabbed him by both shoulders, and I was like, yo, Jared, nothing has, no, nothing's ever happened. And he said, yo, thank you for saying that. Okay, so when I saw Drake, 
we was in a parking lot, we we're talking, and he said, yo, I just want to tell you, yo, nothing ever happened. And then I said, yo, thank you for saying that. When did I become Jerry Kushner? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know where this was going. <laughs> I, mean, I did not know where this was going. You had me scared one second. Oh. Hidden Hills. Mm. Give your wife the chills. Mm. Yeah, so, mm. okay, so. <laughs> so. So. Get, get me the chills. What's your wife? What's your wife? I got it. Okay. All right, so this is why we're going to win for 2024, okay, bro. Let's go, it's like let's go. This truth. The right. truth, because every man got their truth. Right. Every man could be the, the victim or the victor. You either you either one, you know, you, you cheat with somebody or you're getting cheated on. Mm. You know, you you either the victim or the bully. Like it depends on the situation you're in. And I just want to show you mm. that situation. So so we're going because the old man made a call for me and uh You said Drake. The old man with your mother, Larry Hoover. Yeah, Larry Hoover yeah, right. made a call for me and Drake to squash things Fire. and to do this that's concert dope. together. Just like Farrakhan said something to me and Puff just mm. now about White Lives Matter and Black right. Lives Matter right. and about the misunderstandings that we're having out here, mm. right? So Which is me, beautiful. So yeah. me, it's me, uh, uh, J. Press, mm -hmm. uh, G, mm -hmm. it's Jazz Press, mm -hmm. it's his wife, and I got a girl with me, and I'm like, damn, my bitch not as bad as Jazz wife. Were well, you saying this, this out loud? <laughs> she wild, right? I'm like, damn, she killer. No, so, so, <laughs> so, so anyway, so Dave Chappelle has a concert that night. Mm -hmm. The night where we're going to, so we're seeing like, yo, can we go chop it up with Drake mm -hmm. and then make it to the Dave Chappelle joint mm -hmm. and go by the house? And then, um, so we're on the plane and we're like, well, where's Drake's house? Uh, in comparison uh, and distance to the concert. Uh, and, I, and I look up, I say, Google it. Uh, That's the whole thing. You can Google it. Remember yeah, that was the whole... Yeah, yeah, wait a second. Yeah. I, I, I can set it up differently. Remember yeah. the whole thing was... Yeah, well, you gave Yo, Drake I gave that. his address. Yes, yes. And my whole thing is you could Google the address. <laughs> right, right, right. And everybody on the plane right. start laughing. Because right, right. you could Google the address. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it just, it, it just looked like yeah. something on Instagram. Right, you know right, 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 I was like, right. oh, I got the address. Right. Get, and, and guess how I found it? I Googled it. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Oh, shit. Your house don't look the same on these Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so but how is that? Cause so you actually go to his house to squash it? Yeah. You walk in the lion's den for for lack of a better term, because you're on his grounds. And then you you, you at this time, at least I remember, this is Kanye Dolo. This is like Kanye's not rolling with no one. Or did you go with security at that time or no? No, nah, I mean, I mean, Jay Prince is there. Okay. So, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's success. That's success. That's Jay Prince. Yeah, that's success. Yeah. Jay Prince. Yeah. Real nigga, what's up? Yeah. But, um, go ahead. Yeah, but you know, Charlemagne. How you knew I was going to talk about Charlemagne? How you knew that? That's in my notes. Uh, yo, yo, he just. You know, he going to go on air and be like, oh, but I'm going to paraphrase it. Uh, Kim is with Pete because he got a bigger dick. Why are you talking about another man dick mm. on camera? Nothing you got ready. to deal with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a bunch mm. of these industry plant niggas is just like mm. Samuel Jackson and Django. Not Samuel Jackson in real life. I fuck with Samuel Jackson in real life. I'm just talking right. about the character yeah. in Django. Right. In Django. It's like, man, y'all are not helping, but it's like a video game of life. You know, we mm. all can get free eventually. And like you see, I got love for everybody, right. but it's no love if somebody's fucking with me. Right. My, I'm like, I'm like, I really don't wish harm on nobody, right. but I do realize that I can make people jealous right. by like flexing so hard, and that's mm -hmm. gonna come with it. You know what I'm saying? It's because mm -hmm. we, like me and Cons, would be in the studio, and we would make songs and be like, yo, we want to make niggas mad. We want to make niggas mad with the music. Like, it was like if it don't hurt. Like, if it don't, it's, it's, it can't just compete. It has to hurt. Mm -hmm. We not just, that's the reason why I'm not wash, because mm -hmm. I still make it hurt, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, and then it comes out and it hurt, and people be hurt about it. And then I be halfway acting like I don't know why they hurt. 
Mm. They hurt because you hurt them. This mm. hurts. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sleeping in a stadium hurts. Yeah. All like, you know, throwing Balenciaga couture on the floor, it hurts. Like, even when, you know, I went to the Ice Cube Big Three um, event and I had Justin LaBoy, King Toxic, and I had Vori with me, and I was saying, like, yo, Drake, because this is my number, you know, it's like, if we're gonna put our album out, you gotta go after the, the number one artist. Which was Vori at the time? Which was Drake. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, right now, when me, James Blake, are and No ID are in the studio working on our album, who do you think we'd be bringing up when we talking about songs? Stadium artists, who do you think we bring up? Drake. And we ain't got no problem. We, we, there's no beef and no problem. It's just like, yo, we competing. Not Drake, who do you think we bring up? Anybody else got another? Travis? S stadium. We think down here. Kodak Black. No, no. Stadium. Oh. Stadium. Bad Bunny. That's who's on our wall. Right. That's who's on our wall when we make music. Right. We loading up concert footage. Right. Are you talking about the, the aesthetics of the, of the stadium and what, what it's looking yeah, like? Yeah, not just the aesthetics. And in retrospect, if it wasn't for me... It yeah. might not be no bad bunny. I, <laughs> I brought Greg A. Dolan to America. I'm sorry. I'm making noise for me. But I'm sorry, yeah. Let me get around you. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Come on, let's go. So um, it, it, the thing is, it depends on what we're doing. You know what I'm right. saying? We're going to do close. We're going to look at Supreme. Right. We're going to look at Balenciaga. We're going to look at Ralph. Are we looking at these raps? Right. You know, we're gonna we're gonna look at we're gonna look at Drake. You know what right. I'm saying? We're looking at stadiums. Right. We're gonna look at Bad Bunny. We gotta look at everything. That's what he have. We're gonna look at money. We're gonna look at Elon. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna look at the Saudis. That's how I look right. at everything. That's a right. widespread view of right. everything. You know what I'm saying? It's like everything has to be Apple, you know, level. Because levels. we heard you we, we was you was building your own yay community. Is that still Yay Immunity? Yay Immunity. Yay immunity. Unity. You know, this is one of my issues that I have because we're, we're, I've been building, I've invested like over $150 million in 10 years of research Woo. into simplifying our communities because there are no black, Sorry. not just because there are no black owned communities, but just me as a black person, me as that's my, that's who I am in this video game of life. Mm. I, I, like, I'm the tech person that's like, yo, we are one species, right? Mm -hmm. We're one being. Salud. There's no solo. Solo. Let's make some noise for Yay, real quick. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We are one species. Take it from we there. We one like, but you gotta sip it. It don't count. <laughs> yeah, it don't count. I'm sorry. This drink chance. What's up? Oh, this is good, right? It's not Tucker Carlson. This is not Good Morning America. Oh, you said his name right this time. I said it right. <laughs> you is back in the culture, and guess what? Welcome back, baby. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back, <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a living mace rap. Yes, yes. Just listen to a mace rap and like if this was a person. Right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you yeah. know, Mason was going on tour, got canceled. They should have added you. I would got super canceled then. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't think like that. <laughs> no, got no, no, super no. canceled. They had the meanest five dates ever. So there they, you go. Yeah. Atlanta? They, Atlanta ain't canceling. You know, it's so funny that The Gap wouldn't put a store in Atlanta. Wow. I was born in Atlanta. Wow. All of, all of the freshest, like, you know what I'm saying? Me, Andre 3000, Playboy mm. Cardi, like, mm. all of the, like, freshest dress, yeah. you know, uh, influencers are, like, from Atlanta and stuff. So that's that thing where people talking about you without you in the room. Mm. We that's the thing when we sign and do but these licensing brand, deals. Though. You're a brand though. Yeah, they're yeah. supposed to talk about you a lot when you're not in the room. Yeah, but that's when you sign to them, they're seeing how they're gonna use you. Mm. So yeah. this was this is what all right, break it down in uh, um like simplest form for a record like so you, you wasn't signed to them. You you this was a distribution deal, this was like Yeah, a it was a, like deal? a license a deal. Okay. And the funny thing is they think they could give me a baby B and you know the baby B. The little, the it's little a billion. billion, yeah, but it's just like it's like a little baby billion. It's like a little billion. It's like a little billion. It's a baby bee. Don't know the song. That's a baby bee. No, I don't know what that is. Yeah. I'm sorry. We'll take the baby bee. Yeah, but they think they could just like run us with a baby bee, a little baby bee, um, and and the funny thing is, mm. you know, they'll give me that, and I'm, I'm making. 
you know, more money to anybody that works at the Gap. Mm. But you want the information. It's like a friend that caught your girl cheating, right? How much is it worth to have the actual information? Mm. And then he said it, but then she's lying, right? So if you actually had something on camera or a phone mm. or a text or a screen grab, what would that be worth to you? Mm. Let's say let's say you bought a car or something like that. Right. Wouldn't it be worth two cars just to have that text? Ooh. Just to have it? I remember I found out some information one time. It was on the Super Bowl. I literally found it at the time when Tom Brady was throwing a, throwing a touchdown. The audience was going like this. I was going like this. Yeah, I caught you now. You was lying the whole time. Like, no, what's about inflation? <laughs> what you say? The inflation when the ball was. No, not the inflation. Okay. This is a this is a later yeah. date and shit. Okay. So what I'm saying is, information is the most important resource to our species mm. above water. Because mm. with information, you can find water. Yeah, yeah. So Jewish people have information, Chinese people. It's not even information, it's intelligence, mm. right? Because what is the definition of the word nigga? Mm. Ignorant. So it's intelligence. So you see a human being that can be looked at or classified as a nigga that is cocooning or breaking out of a cocoon into intelligence mm. and bringing all of his niggas with him at the same time. And mm. that is the way that we're gonna get free and come into our own power the way the Jewish people came into their power. Mm. And avoiding misinformation, which is more of. Misinformation, like like trauma economy, like the BLM. Uh. You know what I'm saying? When they, when they do BLM, when they do school shootings, the same amount of people getting killed every week in Chicago, but they're not posting that. They're not showing but, but, that. But, but why are you not posting that? Because you from Chicago. Barack Obama's from Chicago. He's from Hawaii. Oh, oh, what is that? No, he was born in Hawaii. He was born in Hawaii. Oh, you said Hawaii? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. but, but he made his chops in Chicago. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because... He's from Hawaii. That's the thing is... <laughs> the thing is, what's crazy is I, I noticed uh, uh, Clinton... When Clinton became into the administration, Little Rock, Arkansas, became the most wildest place there was. And then when... It didn't start with him going I mean, to the I'm just, I'm just Little saying. Rock was, all, was wild. The and George then, Floyd area, the free right. George Floyd zone that they made, the yeah. murder rate is up 50% since George Floyd. It's mayhem. It's, right. it's Mad Max. Yeah. But keep going, what you're saying? No, no, I just want to say, what, what happens with, to these cities when we have somebody so... Uh, um, illustrious becomes from this city, and then now this city becomes the murder capital. Like it seems, that's what it seems I like. Mean, but look, look at like Barack. You know, look at his hair color when he went in. Look at the hair color when he went out. Yeah, yeah. everyone yeah. said. Yeah. You know, like because if you don't have the connections, you know, Trump had enough connections to make it into office, but he didn't have the Jewish media on his side. Because the Jewish media was already aligned with an agenda with the left, with the Chinese. Right. So you got like Alex, Alex Baldwin dissing, you know, Trump as soon as he went in, used to be his boy. You got black people dissing Trump. Black people know they love Trump. Yeah. We used to like, we used to have raps. Guess who the black Trump? Mm -hmm. You know. <clears throat> but he so, could have been better at, at messaging. That's what yeah, he, I, I feel yeah. like. Like, the rhetoric was just unnecessary sometimes. It yeah. was, but it's that frustration. It's like, what I had to learn is, like, that thing I said with DEF CON, that was, right. like, me going Trump, you know, level. Right. Right. You know, that was... You can't... As you see, when we got warmed up, it's like a conversation where... Even in the beginning. We'll see if we right. want to use the stuff in the beginning, right. if it's any of the, the messaging. Right, yeah, I definitely need another one. That we want to put out, you know. <laughs> you ain't got me going, man. Mm -hmm. The only possible way that I could have won, that, I, that I'm a win, the only possible way is for me to early on call out the Jewish media this early, right? right. Because they'll play nice with you. Right. 
But I see him fucking with me, like the SoFi Stadium, like 78 media outlets calling me an abuser based off something Trevor Noah said. Me being canceled from the Grammys. And me being said, they saying that I said a racial slur because I said, Kumbaya, my lord, Kumbaya, uh -huh. talking uh -huh. about Trevor Noah. Uh -huh. And then they kicked me off the Grammys, and I was slated to win album of the year for my first for the first time in my life. Mm -hmm. It's my 10th album, it's the most number ones in, in Apple history, and I'm you know, an incredible artist. It reached at this point, right. and we don't even know who won album of the year. It got canceled by who? Jewish media. By the time 2024 runs around at Jewish media, they're gonna be my friends because you can't just go into the White House like Trump did and have the entire American media against you because mm -hmm. he can't get the work done. It's like having like a th three, three million Meek Mills at one time. At all times, every time you're talking, it's just Meek Mills, Meek Mills, Meek Mills just talking shit about you. And you're trying to, you know, show that. When the last time you heard North Korea? You know what I'm saying? Trump did that. Yeah. He came out the gate, boom. He did that. So I feel like that's like, for me as a musician, to mention the Jews is like North Korea for anyone else's career. And my dad said something to me because my dad was uh, proud of the shirt. He understood it. I was like, why you like that? He said, white lives matter. And he's like, cry face, cry face. I said, why, why was that funny to you, dad? My dad don't know none of my rap lyrics, nothing mm -hmm. like that. He's political, he a genius, he like Steve Jobs. He got a water purification center in the DR. Mm -hmm. This nigga's smart, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, relax. Relax, Dominican people. Good, yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. So, so our, our focus is water, right? Mm -hmm. Our second most important research to uh, resource. Our second most important resource to knowledge is water. Mm -hmm. Our third is food. Our fourth is shelter. Can I, let me but, ask you: Have you seen that guy that that created that that system that gets water out of the atmosphere? Yeah, I met with him before, and we need that. We need every version of how we could take salt water, water out of the atmosphere. But right now in America, say one of the laws that I would change is it's illegal to collect rainwater in America. What? Illegal? It's illegal? It's illegal to co collect rainwater in You go to every America. other country, they're collecting rainwater. <laughs> you know, people are controlling the water. You know, it's going to be fuck a, what T-shirt you wear, what political opinion, and who got beef for who. Mm. You ain't got no water. Right. You ain't got no life. Right. I'm trying to tell you, because, oh. <laughs> you know, a lot of people call me, they want to call me crazy. It's like, it's like running a marathon. If I got some short shorts on and a tank top and I'm sweating hard as hell, um, running down a street, running the wrong way down a, a freeway, then they, you're going to say that person is crazy. But if a hundred other people do it with me, mm, then it's right. a marathon. Mm. That's a good way to put it. Kill that. Yeah. Yeah. Kill that. Yeah, yeah, that was... <laughs> so some of the stuff, I'm the first person that's saying it. Right. Or Candace Owens is the first person that's saying it. Right. Then another person sees and say, I kind of feel you. Floyd Mayweather might say, oh, I feel you. And then mm -hmm. Steve Harvey might say, I feel where you're coming from. There's mm -hmm. a lot of black conservatives. You know, the liberal agenda is to take God out of the homes and separate the families. With that, you're going to get mayhem. You're going to get Mad Max on the other side. Mm -hmm. The conservative agenda is still, still that God runs the world. And I, now I'm, I'm Christian. And I feel like I got the best taste on the planet. So that's Jesus. I'm Jesus gang. Okay. But the Jewish people and the Muslims are all sons of Abraham also. And what Farrakhan would talk about right now is for the Jewish people, what I'm doing is I'm me too in the Jewish culture. I'm saying, y'all got to stand up and admit to what y'all been doing. And y'all just got away with it for so long that y'all don't even realize what y'all doing. And it's like, y'all can't fuck with me either because y'all behind that gated fence, y'all soft, y'all hands got soft. You ain't out here getting beat up every day like me. You ain't out here getting called crazy every day like me. You ain't out here getting your family snatched like me. You ain't out here half your culture getting aborted like me. You ain't out here getting outraged with false narratives like BLM like me. 
So for all the Jewish media, y'all want to sit down and have a conversation with me? Then let's have a conversation. But you ain't going to send Harley Pasternak, Puff Daddy, Meek Mills, Kim Kardashian, none of the usual suspects, and get me to stop talking. You're going to have to take my life. I don't care if you black mirror me. I don't care if you do some of the alternative, what the thing was, show me talking, saying somebody didn't say. I don't care if you have me fucking a goat on camera. I don't care what you do. You're going to have... (laughs) Yeah. And by the way, and if you take my life, there's going to be some college kid, some young yay, some young... Pac, that's going to even go harder. It's going to, y'all thought George Floyd was going to send it up. If you took my life right now, you're going to see something you never saw. So we might as well have a conversation because I love you. I love love the media platform. And we love Jewish people. We we, love Jewish people. Come on, we we love Jewish people. But I am very mad. I have a problem. The conversation ain't over. It ain't, okay, yay, clarify. It ain't nothing to be clarified Mm -hmm. until we have a conversation. You got Jamie Lee Curtis on TV talking about, I hope they take his children away from him. Yeah. It's up. Yeah. Yeah. The queen is in the house. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 um, um but it, it, it can't be, it can't be narrowed down to like you're saying, there's, you're saying Jewish media, but it's the media, there's, there's, there's I, people I'm obviously in, in, in I'm not in narrowing ups. down. Right. I want Jewish children to look at their daddy and say, why is Jay mad at us? I want all the kids that love my shoes and love my songs to say, why is Jay mad? What have you done to his people, to the darker Jews, to our brothers right. that has Jay speaking up, that had Nick Cannon speaking Jews, up, you that had Ice Cube speaking up? What'd you say? Would you say blacks is Jews? Blacks then, are then Jews also. We got to say we love Jewish people then. We love Jewish people. We love, we got, we got great. I love Jewish okay, people. Okay, so I'm going to be like... My homie's a Nicaraguan Jew. His dad came from Poland, escaped the Holocaust, and his mom is Nicaraguan. And, and he would be like, I don't know what's going on. And, and by the way, we haven't escaped the Holocaust. We're still in it. Plan mm. B. Mm. Plan Parenthood. We are still in the Holocaust. Even the, even the information put in our music, the right. toxicity put in our music, mm-hmm. is nothing promoting the idea of a king taking care of a queen and then taking care of the future kings and the future queens. It's just Mm. us talking about killing each other and Jewish people getting paid off of it. Mm. So I could be like a parent that I got a belt, so it's like, bow, I love you, but bow. (laughs) It's I love you, but it's still up. It's Mm. up until we get it fixed. Mm-hmm. Until we get it fixed. It's not no, oh, we're going to calm down. Because you done fucked with me and you done fucked with my people too much. Mm-hmm. And you could throw whatever tag you want. You could call me a racist. You could you, you done call me everything already. Right. What I got to lose. My six-year-old son came to choir practice and said, why I got to sing? I'm not even going to your school. This is a a billionaire with the a male billionaire with the face of Kim Kardashian. If he's saying that to me now, who is he at 16? Who is he at 26? By 26, he might be in jail because I can't say nothing to him because they uh-huh. took me out the house. It's deep. No, I definitely <laughs> needs you. Bro. Do, do we dare do a quick time with slime? Do we dare uh, do it? Uh, 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 quick time with slime. Listen, man. Listen, man. <laughs> yeah, you know our show is about celebrating. He, he celebrated and he do, he, we doing both. This is what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is why, you know, look, look, look. This is quick time. You played this game before. Is this before. Duce in here? That should be. It should be Duce. It's a black man drink, it's, God damn it. Yeah. Drink it. This Duce is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> This Duce, this this Duce is brought to you by my brother Hove. That's right. Yeah. Brother Hove. Brother Hove. Courtesy oh. of the throne. That's right. That's right. Part two throne. coming soon. Hit hit. That's right. Do you, do you, can you explain him the rules of the game? Mm-hmm. He, he knows, he he knows the rules before. of the game. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's quick time with Slime. We're going to give you two choices. You pick one. You pick one. Well, yeah, if you don't you, pick one, then we're drinking. But, but we drink with you. Okay. Can you imagine when Jay-Z and Beyonce support me in 24? Yeah. There'd be no way to lose. In 2024. There'd be yeah. no way to lose yeah. when we we're, come together. We in. All right. Okay. 
All right, okay. man. You ready? Yeah. Cool G rap or Big Pun? I like both. Salute, <laughs> <laughs> salute. Hey, man, because you know the thing is, um, Jay like to take a shot. You ain't gonna get away with that. <laughs> this is drink no, check. You drank. You drank. You drank. You drank. It's right, delicious. Cool. Uh, <laughs> did I mention that this do say <laughs> goes good after a workout? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You like your cardiac. You like your cardiac. Yeah, that's my. And tequila sometimes. I think it's, it's kind of like my name a little bit. My Ooh. older name. Wait, let, let, he was gonna Kanye, explain Kanye. the, the yeah, big pun. And... No, but you know, Jay Electronica hit me. He was like, "Yo, I actually wrote with Nas before." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I said Nas over Jay Electronica, so you. You know, God said for us to not compare each other amongst ourselves. Mm. So when I compare the greatness of Coogee Rap and the greatness of uh, Big Pun... Which was inspired by Coogee Rap. I'll yeah, pun then, rap. then it's not godly. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know Ross said, God forgives, I don't. You know, I'm, I'm forgiven. I, I forgive everybody. I, I forgive the, the Clintons. I forgive uh, John Legend for wearing them bum-ass sweaters. Um, I forgive... Well, I forgive him. He's forgiven. <laughs> Big Sean, forgive me. May Big they Sean. all be forgiven. <laughs> I forgive Big Sean. Uh, I forgive Big Sean for not being able to make the choice between braids or a beard. Choose one. Uh, I forgive. Who else did you forgive? That's it? Everybody, everybody I ever, you know what I'm saying? Right. I forgive everyone. Right. I forgive Bob Iger. I forgive the left party. I forgive, I forgive the Jewish media for creating the Yay's uh, crazy narrative and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, buying up the black voice and bullying mm -hmm. us and, and creating a mob culture to scare people that any time they bring up that a contract mm -hmm. was wrong is labeled anti-Semite as a way to disable people from their truth. I forgive the Jewish mm -hmm. culture for that. Okay. All right, next. <laughs> uh, All right, next question. Next question. Next question. Next question. All right, next question. Okay. Mm -hmm. How does drop out or late registration? Okay, so since it's... But, you know, I'm going to say that, and then there'll be fans that, like, means this to me. I'm going to say that I feel that my two offerings that I was the least enthusiastic about, in a way, after the fact, were late registration and the song Power, because I felt like I filled in the blanks too much. Mm. It was like black man votes Democrat kind of thing. You know what I mean? It's just right. like, it's the obvious. Like, when you heard pl Power, you had actually heard it before from me, right? Because it had the Thank drums you. from crack music. It kind of sound like amazing. You know what I'm saying? It was just like me bringing everything you know I could bring at the same time. Whereas when you heard Love Locked Down, uh, hey, 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 don't say you will, you will, you know, that was, that's Drake. That's what I want to do, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's Drake. That I told you, I buy a house. Right. I do something different. I'm on some <laughs> super rich shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly, welcome, welcome. I love it. All right. Once you my girlfriend, you always my girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Low end theory or midnight Morales? Back in the days of the Boulevard of London. He used to get your grits on that record as well. It was I, the abstract, and me, the five footer. You know, you ain't man. Are you on point, EA? Yes, I am, G. You on point? You on point, EA? Yeah, I am, Nori. Come on, come on. Which one? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we, we, didn't, we didn't answer that. No, he answered. I'm saying, yeah, which one? He did, he did, he did. I did, I did, did answer. Did, did, because did. I, I did what jumped out my body. What mm -hmm. jumped out my body was that baseline. Because you're yeah. a tribe kid. Like, if you think about it, like, like, if you look at, like, the superstars of nowadays, you, Pharrell, is from the tribe slash Native Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill, Fuji's. Yeah. Lauren Hill, yeah. Fuji's. Yeah. Yeah. But, but think about my personality, right? Mm. Is my personality? Do 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 do. He on the or, world talk. Yeah. Or, my, or is my, my personality? Dum 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 dum. That's me every time yeah, I do theory. it. Oh oh oh. 
Get money in the bank. You know, that's, that's that pocket right there. Mm. Dun, 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 Cube started working with... With Public Enemy. Yeah. Public Enemy. Yeah. With the bone So, so it's an oxymoron. I just took a shot. You know, I'm down ball. with the P.E. Now every single bitch want to see me. <laughs> like, America's most wanted. Yeah, the, um... You know, Cube's really set me up for this. You know what I mean? It's like, you really... You really influenced me to get on this anti-Semite, you know, vibe. Oh. And, I, and I'm here to... I'm here to... I'm here to finish the job. I'm here to not back down. They should have never let you niggas get money. My never. dad said, you know, what the leftists say about, they, they still call me Kanye West, but the, what the leftists say about Ye is he's dangerous because he's rich. Mm. What did, what did, I mean, what did little Kim say? What did Pac say? Mm. You know, I'm thinking about like money, power, respect. How yeah. did she start the song? Key to life. Yeah. Money, power. First you get the money. Yeah. Then you get the power. Yeah. And that's the whole thing with the Jewish media. My thing is, hey, I love Irvin Azoff. Y'all just got to respect me and my people in a different kind of way. We're you. And the Jewish people, after the Holocaust, they said it's never again. And they went and they got their respect. And I respect Jewish people for that, right? But we in the championships of life, right? And I'm telling the Jewish people like this. I need my ring, too. I'm the best out here. I'm getting my fourth ring, just like how Curry said. Right. That's what y'all need to understand. Right. We're going to pull these people together. Puff told me today, he texted me, he said, buy a bank. I said, I don't know how. Can you show me? Killer so Mike the next got a bank. time. Yeah, bank with the, that blank. Yeah, Killer Mike got a bank? Yeah, yeah, yeah Mike black got a bank, bank. In, in Georgia. Right? Okay, I mean, th there we go. So now we're sharing the information. Right. That's how we're going to get it. So the next time you see me and Puff together, we're going to be buying a bank. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And wait, and to clarify, because you said on an anti-Semite vibe, meaning that that's what they're saying that you are on. They're saying not that because... You're, you're not saying you're not, you're I'm not, anti semite But they said we a nigga, and we started to believe it. You know, they said right. we crazy. They said I'm crazy, started to believe it. So whatever you want to call me, I'm going to embrace that and keep moving. I'm going to just be like a snowball. When a snowball's going down a hill, it don't say, I can't accept this tree. I can't accept this snow. I can't accept this, du this dirt. I'm going to take the tree, the snow, the dirt, and just get bigger till I roll over your ass. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's one way of explaining it. How do we go to this, ne this next one? Biden or Trump? I mean, I already know what he's <laughs> Maybe he says both. He's going to be like both. Don't think because I went to sleep and acted like I was dead that I was saying Biden. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. shit. Damn. Let me tell you what. I'm going to tell you guys. <laughs> We're never going to get fooled again. Kamala Harris is our never again. When, she, when they added her in as the vice president, the Democrats got 96% of the black female vote. You would have thought Drake was running. Mm -hmm. Jesus. <laughs> Kamala Harris is our never again. We're never going to be fooled just because you put in this, like, very attractive. I am single, Kamala. Now, you can... <laughs> <laughs> she got weird. Go ahead. Go ahead, Yay. You, you, you walk for that one. He's like, oh, Kamala, Kamala fucked up. He left you for me. Oh, I'll holler, though. <laughs> We, we, we won't talk about politics. <laughs> we just gonna hang and drink some juice. <laughs> we don't come on. Come on, we ain't gonna do shit. What's up? What's up? I don't know what it is. I don't wanna say boozy line. Nah, relax. what I'm saying is, I might buy a house. Once you're my girlfriend, you're always my girlfriend, Kamala. What? what? Jesus. <laughs> Yo, Jesus. I didn't know where this was going. <laughs> I didn't know this was going. And I know why, because she's going to walk with you. She's going to walk up. Oh, well. <laughs> You know, well, yeah, yeah, I was actually looking at the spot in Napa. And... <laughs> oh, my God. 
So we're all we're all ready. We're going. All right. Next next question. Where where yeah at this weekend? Oh, what did he pick? He did. He no. He obviously did. Obviously pick Trump, right? Biden and Trump. I, I, yeah, Trump. Okay, he okay. cool. He, uh, he cool for now. All right. <laughs> he cool, yeah. All right. <laughs> Maybe neither of those works there, too. All right. Dungeon Family or Wu-Tang Clan? Oh, you know, I, see, it's ungodly. <laughs> Wu-Tang, Wu-Tang. Right. Come on, man. This is like Tony Stark's. Right. This is the drip, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. But I got to say, the Wu-Tang videos had me spending a lot more money than I needed to. Me and Don C was buying new Tims, right. new new puffer jackets, right. Right. fitted hats, right. Right. white tees, wallabies. Right. Right. And then, because it looked like every day was a video. Right. And I got to, like, New York, and I seen Dirty Tims. Right. <laughs> I called Free up. I said, I didn't know niggas had Dirty Tims in New York. I just spent all this money off a fresh pair of Right, right. I can't remember my Tim's go more than three days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If my Tim's got a scuff yeah, on them, yeah, yeah. I end the meeting. Yeah, yeah. Meeting adjourned. I need a new pair of Tim's. Yes, I'll yeah. be back. Yes, and I carry yes. the Tim's in a plastic yeah. bag, put them on in the meeting. Now let's continue the conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no, this is the, the DJ. Well, I got to do You got to do this. I'm sorry. You're correct. Khaled or drama? This is a big thing on the, uh, on the social media right now. Yeah, yeah. Because drama mm. won't be for DJ Khaled and... I've, you know, I'm going to say Khaled because he brought me to his house uh -huh. and, you know, just the energy and just right. the positivity and right. everything. And just, we got, also, we got more records together. Mm. We got Grammy Facts. family together. Mm. We got... Recently, you yeah. did the remix joint, right? Uh, Eminem, you got a record with Eminem on his That's yeah, yeah, but, you know, it wasn't me. See, I was, I'm sitting there, you know what I'm saying? It was, people, anybody that's ever been through a divorce, it's a mm. difficult thing. You know, because your baby mama gonna play with you. Like, mm -hmm. when we did the Donda 2 thing, mm -hmm. uh, when my kids came on a plane, after they was on a plane, Kim texted me and said, North's not on a plane. Mm -hmm. And knowing yeah. my personality, you know what I'm saying, that could affect my show. Mm -hmm. So right, baby mamas right. across the world, not just me, like, on some billionaire. That's a Gemini shit. Yeah. yeah. I can't attest to that. Uh -huh. And, like, but everybody goes through a lot of that type of... I just thought about, you know... The, all the time when I thought me and Kim were going to get a divorce, like, throughout our relationship, I always thought about um, Big Boy, man. He really told me what it really was on I Choose You. Mm. Like, oh, it's about outcast. I was thinking yeah, about Big Boy Radio. Like, okay. your baby's mama, mama, don't like me. Uh, they try to come to the studio, try to kind of fight me. And, oh. blah, blah. and oh, then Sorry, Miss Jackson, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. but then yeah, also yeah. he says, better pick the right one to pick, pick the kitties up. Mm. And the whole time, I'm like, this this rap is just coming, rolling through my head like a mantra mm. of what it, you know. So, and I still be in my head like, you know, maybe, you know, maybe one day our family could get back together. You know, like Shelly Azoff left Irvin twice. Shelly left twice. Oh, um, come on. Irvin Magic Johnson? No, Irvin Azoff. Oh, I don't even... I, that's you know, that's I'm Kim's... Low. That's Kim's... <laughs> I'm black, black. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Pay grade I'm, again. I'm, 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 I'm a ba original. Baby bees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ir Irvin Azoff is a... Watch this. I'm not even saying this to, to, to backtrack. This is a good friend of mine. He's a mentor of mine. He's basically the same video game character as me, and he's Jewish, and his wife is... Uh, they're, they're like, uh, Kim is like their goddaughter. And his wife is somebody that Kim always looked up to also. But Irvin Azoff ran MCA Records. Okay. Uh, and he merged, I think it was Ticketmaster and Live Nation. Oh, it was shit. something that people had never seen done. He's building this giant, like, sphere in Vegas. The, this performance venue mm. is incredible. And he's like really... Just someone I always look up to. And every every time, you know, I go up on Instagram and I'm going to get my contracts, I always say this is the spirit of Ice Cube and this is also the spirit of Irving. Because mm. Irving, like, when he had, like, you know, he, he was a legend, you know? I, I think he had some where somebody was messing with Shelly and he, like, broke their car and, like, threw a... Threw a, uh, a 
a gallon of piss in the car or some shit like on some like real like proper like wild out shit like some shit I'll be on you know okay so I just think like <laughs> you said he's, he's passed though because you said he no he's not passed uh, no he's living so you still you still talk to him yeah so what says being he's your Jewish friend what does he say to you anything in terms of what's going on I'm sure he's reading the paper like laughing uh, thinking it's funny and shit thinking uh, it's lit thinking it's that uh, because like who lit who lit right tell me who lit I know I want to know like Dream it, champs lit who lit yeah it's like three <laughs> champs lit three <Dream laughs> champs lit <laughs> hold on but let's move um, only built for Cuban links or the infamous. Yes, only built for good. I only had to hit rest. I didn't got to hit rest. Oh, come on, the infamous. Only built for good. The, the, the okay. infamous. Is, okay, okay, they okay. Both, they both <laughs> super classics. <laughs> only built for Cuban links. You going with that? Sticking with that? And the infamous is the other one. The infamous is the other one. Both Ball super classics. I, re I remember Havoc came to my crib, <clears throat> you know, because Famous, we played earlier. Havoc did the drums for that. I made that bitch famous. I made that bitch famous. Uh -huh. I, uh, mm -hmm. Now, before the Me Too movement, I, me I remember I had it, and the lyrics said, <laughs> Uh, you know, there's a lot of movements out here. Right. You know, the, the movements is the treadmill hustle. Right. So, um, so Havoc came on my crib, and it's always like, Drake is like, I got the bigger pool, I got this, that, that, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, Corey asked me, was he with the baby mama's mama? You know, so, um, I, uh, <laughs> this is true, I have no reason to lie. So, and I don't like Corey, so I have no reason to lie for him. The, uh, the... No, the thing is, the funny thing is, I actually do like Corey because it's his job to be likable. Uh, that's how he makes it in like that. So um, I asked Havoc, I was like, yo, did you ever have like a Drake or somebody? He was like, yeah, Wu Tang. Oh, oh wow. Wu Tang was Mob Deep's Drake. Wu Tang was Mob Deep's Drake. Mm. I never thought about that. Mm. And they would get influenced, they'd be influenced. So think about drop a, drop a gem on them. Mm. That's. Post Wu Tang, yeah, Mob yeah. Deep, hang up, hold, uh, uh, drop a gem on them. Mm. The uh, also what I'm doing this for Prodigy too. Mm. Rest in peace, Prodigy. Illuminati on my mind, soul, and my body. No. Secret society, trying to keep that eye on me. He was saying a lot. Are we making some noise for that? I feel like we should make yeah, some noise. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, rest in peace. You know, cause we alive. You get what I'm saying? We're gonna die. It's guaranteed. hundred percent. So don't be afraid of death. Right. Okay, we're gonna move on. Wait, but okay. pick, did he pick? <laughs> he, did, picked, did you, he said only people can no, 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 no. He didn't hear it, the infamous. He didn't hear it. And, and, and then he gave a happy story. story. So yeah. we really don't know. But well, you pick only Bill for Cuban Links, right? I gotta take a shot. Oh, let's take a shot. See, I told you. Oh, I yeah, told yeah, you. Yeah. Salo, 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 salo. Okay. Rock him or KRS one. Oof. You, I mean, you skip a lot of shit. Like, like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I, I, you gotta, you yeah. gotta take, okay, okay. All right, yeah. cool. I should have cool. drank earlier. I should have yeah, just yeah, waited for this segment okay. right here. <laughs> but I, I can handle my drink. I don't even get drunk. I just get hung over. No, no, no. I would love to see a convo <laughs> with you and Karis one. Ooh. Yeah. That would be an incredible conversation. Mm -hmm. I like it too. That's, Okay, that's the next interview. Mm, we yeah. got you. On Drink Chance platform. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Because, because, <laughs> yeah, Drink Chance platform. because is this true that Jason Media was running Yay Media and now he's not? Is that true? Yeah, he's, he's not running it. Um, he, he not running it. Um, I just felt like... People are just walking in with too much Balenciaga. You know, if you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's like, they just out here like flexing, you know what I'm saying? They just flexing like, you know what I mean? And I don't like somebody saying, well, I'm gonna be the voice of Ye. Ye the only voice of Ye. Mm -hmm. Ye the only manager of Ye. Like, mm -hmm. I, like, I look at every single bill I pay. I only pay bills on a Friday. And I look at everyone one by one by one by one. Like, I was thinking getting to be a billionaire would take me out of having to do work. Now, one of my biggest jobs is keeping my money right. because there's a lot of people jacks. that's on a full-time job to take my money. Right. And I've literally lost hundreds of millions of dollars by not looking close enough. Mm. 
So uh, it reminded me of that sh- what Shaq said when he had the the deal and he had the studio in his crib, and when he got the on oh, the check because the he check, was paying himself. And then he yeah. looked at what they were charging him the label, and they were charging him for studio time. He was like, "The studio's at my crib," and then he got a couple hundred thousand back. But but it's funny he yeah. would have overlooked that easily. Yeah, because my thing is like, you know what? <laughs> Why would the Jewish media push BLM and force people into outrage, right? But then say, I don't have the right to my anger. As a human being, I know I can read all the books, I can meditate, I can study and say, hey, I don't have a problem with Jewish culture. I don't have a problem with what Jewish people have done to my people. I don't have a problem with the fact that the Jewish people have bought. I could say that, but I do. And I own my right, and I own my anger. And I'm going to keep that anger as an energy to wake me up until it changes. You're not going to back me down until it changes. I'm not clarifying nothing, TMZ. No, I'm not talking specifically about businessmen. I'm talking about you, TMZ. I'm talking about the media also. I'm talking about the entire culture. I need your entire culture to take a look at itself and picture this moment. Picture every single black athlete black actor and black rapper being able to put their contracts up the way I put my contracts up. And we compare and contrast what things should be in the deals and what things should be out of the deals. There's going to be a lot of people embarrassed by that. I was $53 million in debt, and I said it in 2015, you know, the night after MSG. Because the funny thing is I had Adidas, I had this, I had all that. Stuff. That's when, when you asked Mark Zuckerberg, right? To... Yeah. And nobody nobody would help. Everyone's seeing, but nobody's going to really help. They just want to capitalize. Nobody really wants to help. They just want to see what's in it for them. <clears throat> nobody's really trying to support or give you the information. They want to own it. A, a, a thing that a Jewish person will always say is they'll say, this is mine. With something with like a, a, a something a black person built, or that any company built, and they'd be like, "That's mine now." I remember when Scooter Braun called me and said, "The manager for Justin Bieber." Yeah, he said, "Yo, I'm a, um, I got some people who got some early stock in SpaceX, and we can buy it behind Elon's back." That's, yeah. that's the way you go. And, on I, the and crazy I said, shit. "I'd rather have a relationship in Elon's face." than to buy something behind his back. Mm. That's more valuable to you. Now, my thing is, like, look, they're... All Jewish people are not bad. Please say that. I just said it. All right. But... (laughs) But I need the ones to step up. Because up to this point, I can name you 20 nightmare situations. Yeah, but that you can't. That's that's like that's like me going to a projects, right? Mm-hmm. That's like me going to forty projects and forty projects and shit happened bad to me. But then I could go to forty projects in a certain time, and the church people walk me right through that same projects, and I'm good. Is it the projects to blame? Yeah, or is it, it, it certain it, it, individuals? Or going to Mexico and the cartel? Is like we can. Yeah, it's, yeah, is yeah, it yeah, certain it's, individuals? Yeah, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a project mentality. I'm from Chicago, yes. and I have a project mentality. Even yeah. with the intelligence that I have, mm. I have a project mentality. Right. If I go to somebody's block and somebody shoot me, shoot at me, kill one of my homeboys, then it's fuck they whole block. Now you get it? Yeah. Now you get it? But for the record, nobody's <laughs> killing Kanye. Nobody... Everyone loves Kanye. Are we right? Are we right? Everyone loves Kanye. We just want you to and you're not asking for anybody to kill you. Yeah, we want to reiterate that. You, wanna, that. you know, wanna, you know who's killing Kanye? Jamie Lee Curtis talking about I hope that he don't see his children. Right. That kills me. That kills me. And the fact that that now that's hate speech. Hmm. That's hate speech. Yeah. That's hate speech. Hmm. That's what's killing me. When I couldn't see my child and nobody said nothing. 
Nobody, next time that happened, you got to say something. Right. You got to say something. Everybody get, never let this family kidnap my kids in broad daylight. That's how beat into submission but, but, by the media we are. But I was saving this, bro. Let me just say yeah. something. Um, but do you not realize that's how much we respect you? Is we don't want to speak out uh, to, to the family that whether you once loved them or love them now is that that's how much so much of us respect you is that we want to mind our business when it comes to that and kind of like leave it up to you. I need y'all as a tribe. I need y'all with this me. Is something we need to hear. Today. I need y'all as a tribe. I need the culture with me. I need I need everybody that loves my music and loves my shoes, loves my point of view. Don't love it. Everybody yeah. that's mad at me that was hurt by the red hat, if you was hurt by the red hat, that means you love me. I need mm. everybody that love me. Sure. If I'm in a situation where I don't have the leverage with my children, or you yeah. got Jamie Lee Curtis talking about we're going to take his kids away from him, I need y'all to rise up and make sure that they don't take my children away from me, mm. running this false, crazy narrative. Right. Because they could take my kids away. They could put me in jail, and y'all sit up and say, well, I didn't say nothing out of respect. Right. I, I mean, it's, it's it's a seesaw, right? Yeah. Because it's a delicate on, on, seesaw. On one hand, on one hand, let's just, just, just yeah. picture it like yeah. this. Picture it like this. All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna name this person a cup, right? And it this person just jumps out the window, <laughs> and he goes, "Man, what, yo, Kanye," and then Kanye gets back with Kim, y'all fall back in love. Now this person is throwing the fuck out the, the way because he just spoke about your wife. And now you get back with your wife. Hold on, hold on. Okay. You get back with your wife. And now this person who who who, who wanted to spread this analogy, the same, um, you know, Support that you did, but then you you go back and you fall in it love. It happens you, all the time. Do you friend, understand the friend how, like, sides with you when like, you break up with your girl? How, like, and then you get back with your and, girl. And it's not like you don't have no regular girl. Like this is whatever uh, this person says is going to be on every blog site. So they support you, then you get back with him, and then because you do you want your family back together, and then now you're looking at this plastic cup and you saying, man. You shouldn't have said that at it. this time. And oh, well, cause 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 maybe you're not saying that, but Kim is saying, I didn't like what he said at, at such and such time. So do you understand how certain people I, can I respect that. Okay. But the thing is like, look, if someone that's is not gonna speak up at that time, right. that's going Meek Mills probably go through the same situation. Right. You know, with his baby mamas or something like that. Right. So um don't speak up on me now if you can, ain't gonna speak up on me then. Mm -hmm. But I'm asking you guys, I'm saying by the fact that I crossed the anti-Semi line, I crossed the gun line, I stood in front of the tank in Tiananmen Square, I'm saying, look, mm -hmm. this, this smoke screen that's been created to make us so afraid to speak up for ourselves, this is just a smoke screen. Mm -hmm. And even if it's not, right, even if they're gonna like take us down every chance they get, that's cool too. What I'm but, trying to explain to you is like, whether it's my money, my reputation, and my life, I'm not, I'm not taking this shit no more. Mm -hmm. They didn't bully, you know, would you agree with the things that I'm saying about the Jewish record labels, about artists getting fucked? Uzi the future. Uzi. I just need to tell you that. Lil Uzi. Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi right. Lil Uzi, like, remember I said future? Yes, you, you said it on here. Yeah. Okay. Right, it's a, it's a, it, it, well, really, you know what it is? It's always two. It's always two at a time. You know what uh -huh. I mean? It's really Cardi and Uzi. It's Ooh. really Cardi and Uzi. Playboy, Ooh. Cardi, and Uzi. We had Cravo and um, uh, Takeoff take here the yeah. other day. What they were saying? Real shit. Yeah. <laughs> they said, that, um, Cravo said that um, you asked to borrow his Twitter during the blockout. Is this true? Yeah, he, uh... Oh, no, he, no, he said he offered it. He said he, he, offered, he offered it. it. He, said he, he, offered said he offered it. He said he offered it. He, he offered yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? I just said, let me take this time as just like a breather. They put me like as a technical foul. Right. Because, oh, here goes... <laughs> here goes another thing. I said... Uh, DEFCON 3. What I wanted to say, what I meant to say was... No one's afraid of the Jewish media mm. mob, which it is, right? And what I said was DEFCON 3. Now, I'm not backing up on a feeling of what I wanted to say, 
I just didn't say the exact thing right. that I wanted to say at that moment. <clears throat> so I feel like God put me on a little timeout. Yeah. Because my, my dad was like, I feel where you're coming from, yay. I understand. But you got to be more sophisticated with your words. Mm. You have to be more sophisticated. I agree with that God. Was, yeah. That was less sophisticated I than I needed God. to be. You said God texts you that? No, his father. Yeah, oh. second to God, my okay, dad. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know for a fact, um, you know, pissing off Jewish people and pissing off black people, I know that. There's just too much to read yeah. when you under-articulate something. There's too much right. that people can pick and create a different narrative from. You know what I like about this? Mm. The, the Jewish media was pushing the narrative off the White, Live, White Lives Matter t-shirt that I didn't love black people. And I That's came back. Came off. And I came back and I was like, no, fuck the Jewish media. And everybody's like, what? Wait, what? <laughs> right now, we're supposed to be living and breathing in the yay doesn't like black people because he wears a red hat. Yay doesn't yeah. like and black people because he. And I was like, nah, fuck that. And God was like, fuck that. On some like <laughs> Moses, like, think about like Moses uh -huh. had four chapters. Like, I've contrary to popular belief, I did read the four chapters of Moses, right? Because you say you ain't read somewhere. No, what I'm saying, yeah, I've never actually finished a novel, right? That's I never, fantastic. I respect that. Yeah, because, <laughs> by the way, you know, it. one thing is that there's nothing whiter than English itself. I do not like to read. Like, I do not like to work out. Like, I do not like, you know, certain, mm -hmm. certain, there's certain stuff in life that is currently necessary. Mm hmm that I don't like. Mm. That don't make, I'm, I'm not disregarding people. Some people are more power. How many people do you know that can read very well, that can't dance very but, well? But see, look, yeah. talking about articulation, yeah. could it be said that it's misunderstood that reading equals knowledge? That's, That's another misunderstood thing. Because you, you don't have like, yeah. to read books to really have knowledge. That's right. And if, and... The information isn't there. You know where the information, the knowledge is from? Mm. The knowledge is from the two fathers. Who are the two fathers? You tell you, us. Your father and the father above? Your father and the father above. Oh, shit, you now killed what, that. Now, what has happened to the black community? The, they erased the father there, the father so all you have is the father above. But they've erased that, Even too, that, yeah, in, because, the uh, in the message. They have contracts. There was a contract. Now, it's later been amended, but Victory Boyd that signed to Rock Nation, a line inside of the contract that I'm sure Jay-Z and Beyonce never saw was, it said that Victory would not be able to sing about Christ or be able to sing about God in the contract. Rhythm and blues was the first step of taking God out of the people because we had gospel. Aretha Franklin had gospel. Yeah. Ray Charles. Patty LaBelle. Yeah. Patty LaBelle wore your Yeezy slippers. I gave her Yeezy slippers. She wore, yeah, she wore she crib yeah. walk right here, yeah. right here, right here. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, did you see that? I sent yeah. you the footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Come yeah. on, I, come I, on, I, come I, on. I, I didn't see it, but I just said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm saying the R&B was yeah, the first yeah, definitely part of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, no, wait, wait, he said R&B was taking it out. Yeah, it was funny. I was like... Taking God out of music, you Yeah, I remember I was at Roscoe's, you know, earlier this year. And I'm, I love I love Roscoe's stuff, but they're playing the music, and it's like Usher saying, "You got it bad." You got it. You got it bad. Yeah, that messaging is not uplifting. Some niggas got it bad, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but there's when we sing, God created music solely for the purpose of worshiping God. Mm. Now, if you listen to the majority of the music, it's not worshiping God. No. It's going into it's, dark holes. It's like saying... From the sweat to my nuts. Yeah, That's but it's, it's saying, I want to fuck your bitch. Yeah, it's how many bitches fuck I bitch. fuck. Yeah, I want to fuck yeah. your girlfriend. I want to fuck your mama. Yep. Like, it's like... Yeah. And I want to do drugs while I'm fucking your mom. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's it just takes you into that, that place. And God has a... God has a place for us in the promised land that can't be defined by man. It's not the 400 acres that the oppressors can take away from us. Only we can oppress ourselves, and it's only for us to rise up that we can be who God really made us to be.
Right. It's not going to be on the Jewish people. Right. It's not going to be on the Catholics. It's not going to be on the media. It's going to be on us collectively to rise up. And I want to change something. I said, I am the leader. Now, let me change that. I am a leader. And there's a new leader being born every day. And there's mm. leaders locally mm, that absolutely. will hear this, that can play this. Mm. Leaders of their school, leaders of their boys club, leaders of their church. Leaders of their crew. Leaders of their crew. And that's another word for crew. Leaders of their gang. Mm, you well, see that, what I'm saying? Gang really, has yeah, like a negative connotation. Right. But by removing the gang Gangs leaders. Gangs originated in Chicago. Yeah, and exactly. By removing the gang leaders, you're removing the leaders. And that yeah, and that's was what something. Happened and, and that's what Chicago. Chicago. And, and that yeah. fucked up the world. Right. Because those gang leaders would organize right, right there. You know what I'm saying? Gangster right. Disciples saved my life in Chicago. I'm here because of Gangster Disciples. Uh, and I am exactly who Larry Hoover wanted to see come out of the organization that he created. Right. Took right. our leaders, took our structure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We still on Quick Time with Slime. Even right, this is a quick time. Quick, I'm on quick Time with Piss in a minute. This, all right. Yo, I be not, really, nothing fucks with a Drink Champs interview, right? No, it's no, like no, no, no. Because, you know... Because you, yeah. when, I, when I go to Tucker Carlson, they're just like it's so... Not the same. They're just so marveled by yeah. the fact that... Of yeah. the brilliance. They're yeah. not respecting the brilliance. They're more, like, shocked and, like, yeah. marveled by... It's, like, hilarious to them. It's like, that squirrel can jet ski. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn, bro. <laughs> oh, I, wonder, I, wish, I wish the horn worked. It All didn't right. work today. All right, this is going to be a good one. Kodak Black or Little Baby? Come on, man. That's it. A... <laughs> Not a chico. Yeah, I, th- I mean, a politi- I'm, I, uh, Be as politically... Fu- as, a, as a future president, I'm just going to have to take a shot. Yeah, yeah, take a shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 2024? Okay, my bad, my bad. Hey, but on. I tell you what, I feel oh. like... You know, we could point out just oh, like... Oh, you got to sip it, Connie. You know that. Yeah. After, yeah. You, after you connect with me, you got to sip it. <laughs> it's like... Mm-hmm. Just like you said with uh, huh. with Bad Bunny, yo, I, yeah. I, I need I need I need to get a suit with Bad Bunny, right? You can connect that. Oh, yeah, we can I, definitely. Shit, get I don't know if I'm no, the Puerto no, Rican. No, we can connect. No, we can connect. Listen, listen, listen. I will try my best. No, right. Drink Chess can connect. Listen, that. Drink Chess and 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 wait wait a minute. So we gonna do for our first single for Drink Champs album, Yay with Bad Bunny. Oh, it's gotta be the Drink Ooh. Champs features. <laughs> Absolutely, and Noriega. God, yeah. no, I gotta be on the record. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let y'all go yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Okay. Right, no, 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 you gotta go it. back to it. You gotta go back. You gotta regain what you took. Okay. You brought it. You brought it. Yeah, you got me. 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 You lit. You lit. with the bra and everything. You don't care. I'm about to go ham and get him right now. Yeah, you lit. Yeah, okay. We lit. We lit. Okay. Ooh, this is a good one. I want I want to say, but what about when I sit out that that uh, tweet where I said, Lil Baby, my favorite rapper? You remember that? Yeah. yeah. Little Baby. So that's Dance. when he caught the body, too. And, and, and Little Baby, the, and what position he in? Yeah, they, 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 they um, canceled him, too. That's what Boosie said. Boosie said they canceled him. Well, at least the, no, that's the baby. Oh, my bad. You, you, you getting your babies confused, buddy. I'm sorry, I got my babies confused. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get with the time, bro. You okay. gotta get with the lingo. You remember that? Ah, you got me back. Uh, I'm the guy with the great head right now. Okay, okay, my bad, my bad. Okay, okay. All oh, right, holy shit. All right, oh, where are we going? Okay. You going UGK eight? Eight ball MJG. Yeah, you go that. You the soft guy. UGK, UGK or, or, or eight ball MJG. Uh, rest in peace, Pimp C. But you know about my thing coming out hard, Woo. so hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's like people that's have to real Google. Hip-hop. Yeah. People have to Google. That's what we. That's what me and GLC was listening to in Chicago. Mm. Eight Ball and MJG. You know, nah, so super legends. So I told you, like on this right here, you got to understand. There's a possibility. I may be running for office. Hint, hint. So yeah. I can't. Uh, so take a shot, then, goddammit. I'm gonna have to take a shot take because a I'm running for office. You, you gonna be our first I, I drunk president? I'm gonna run for office. It's a possibility. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Holy shit. This game does. It's like yeah. what, what's cool is it, it, I can speak up on it. Like it sparks like where. <laughs> Bought me a red, you know what I'm saying? Weird, yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. the lies hit me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I always thought, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, 
I always thought when I would t when I would speak to rap, like somebody like Pimp C always made me like feel like for me is like the pink polo rapper. I yeah. always felt like less of myself. So I get on the phone with them or something, you know what I'm saying? Because they just yeah. be, it almost like everything they rapped about was like dissing everything that I ever uh, did. You know what I'm saying? Like they was what? like very not tight jeans, very right. not close, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I remember Pimp C had a conversation like, man, I like the way you had your vocals turned up so they could, you know, so they could hear what you saying. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You having your vocals turned up. Right. And that's a very big thing, you know, right. like it was a guy that came to, um, one of my one of my sixty thousand square foot spaces, and it was he was in the uh, he was in the band of Strokes. He's in the band of Strokes, and I remember they had this song where their vocals were low, mm. and I wanted to make my vocals low on All Falls Down. It didn't work for me. I had to speak up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They canceled me this week. There's no not Tucker Carlson. No platform would carry me this week either. Mm. And mm. even a publicist that I'm working with was like. I don't know why you would go on drink chance. I said, you understand that our numbers did three times the numbers of when Kim was on SNL, right? You understand that, right? right. <laughs> they ain't want to clap for that. They just wanted to make sure his ways was right, knowing he had ways in 20 years. He just wanted to do this, you know what I mean? But go ahead, God damn it. Yes, yeah. and we won an award um, for you. But let, let's just stick with quick time slime. We're going to get a damn I should have I, I oh. went up to that. I should have accepted the award with y'all. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We were scared to call you. We were scared to call you. Next award, you got to come up. Next award. Yeah, we won the Emmy. We won the Emmy. That's what I want. Yeah, we won the Emmy. This this interview right here giving us an Emmy. You know, there's something where there's like, okay, people are like, what what's the goal? This is because Emmy. I think I think Jewish media, right? This is the one, this is the one where you win the Emmy, right? Because you yeah. say Yay calls out the Jewish media. No, we do not say that. We say Yay makes amends with Jewish people. Cause we love Jewish people, love black people, we love everybody, and we love Yay, and we go, we go make everything amended. Uh, Let's uh, make some noise. Uh, that. Eventually. Let's make some noise. That. Or that we let Yay say whatever he wants to say. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, well this, we live in a both. country where it's still freedom of speech, yeah. and that should be allowed. Well, we, we can't, we can't, we can't amend. We can't. To amend is not to pretend. Mm -hmm. We need to amend. Because I ain't finna pretend. Uh -huh. right? You know what I'm saying? And I understand Hollywood is a world of make-believe. Right. But why this will make, why this will win an Emmy, which mm. I'm just going to make an assumption is a Jewish media platform, is because we're going to demand the amendments, mm. the amendments in our culture. We're mm. going to demand, I'm me tooing the Jewish culture right now mm. and saying, y'all got to come out and say what y'all have done between the mob action, what they'll do for uh, group think. Like, if you go against them, I put the White Lives Matter t-shirt and they cancel my shows. And They've actually called multiple people and threatened them to step away from me. They call Candace Owens, they call Tucker Carlson, mm -hmm. they call anybody, all, even the people that was with me when I had the red hat, they called them. Tucker Carlson works for Fox. Fox is not allowed to show anything because just like when Jared Kushner was in office and I say that he held my boy Trump back, uh, think about that if I had said that four or five years ago. I want to talk about the people that threatened yeah, my but, life. But that's when you was in full support of Trump. I'm so still in said, full support of Trump. I just think said, that I would be better than Trump. You should, if you would have said that, Jared Kushner yeah. lined in, it would have been... Lined in with who, though? You said he lined back. in with Trump. Jared Kushner is an example of how the Jewish people have their hand on every single business that controls the world. And everybody knows that faux fact. Jared, like, you ever seen the movie Lego Movie, where the guy realizes everything is the same company? That's what's happening. And by the way, we can't be mad at them, and you can't call me anti-Semitic for calling out. You can't call me anti-Semitic for saying I'm going DEFCON 3. I think what you said, though, say is that that, though, that sounds pretty anti-Semitic, except for the fact that I am Jew. And you also, said you can't be mad at them because you want to do the same. You know I, You know what? That's, I, that's an important I, thing I to say. I can't be, but I am because I'm jealous because I'm a human being. And you want the same and, for... And I'm a competitor. I want my people to rise up like the Jewish people. I'm a competitor. 
I feel that if I am not the leader, I'm one of the strongest, most vocal leaders. And I feel Lauren is the leader. I feel like this multiple people that are leaders in this community, right? And I'm jealous of the Jewish community. I'm jealous of how the fact that they do not abort their people. I'm jealous of how the fact so they say on. that as I'm opposed to I'm saying it right now. Okay. It's coming now. Let me say it, bro. <laughs> okay. This is coming now. All right. All right. It's coming now. Let me say it. You have to get to it. I'm uh. jealous. I'm jealous of the fact of how they don't abort their babies. I'm jealous of the fact of how they stay with their wives. I'm jealous of the fact mm. of how they do business business together. I'm jealous of the fact of how they read their contracts and understand their contracts. I'm jealous of the fact. I'm jealous of the way uh, Jewish people do business. And I'm jealous, not just for me, but for our entire culture. And I believe that once we rise up, that we will have a position to be able to serve God, because it's not about taking over the world. God runs the world. We need to be in service to God, and we all need to be in service to God. So I'm jealous. And you know what? Because when I would speak on the, the Khaled and Drake record, why I speak on that? Out of jealousy. When I was speaking on Drake, why I speak on that? Out of jealousy. While I'm speaking on the Jewish culture, why I'm speaking on that? Out of jealousy. I'm jealous of the Jewish culture. No. Actually, I said I just thought of that right now, shit, but it had to happen. <laughs> that's a breakthrough. That's a breakthrough. But that's why it's going to win an Emmy. That's why we're going to be standing there next to Chris Rock and Will Smith and everybody. They're going to be standing together? There. I'm, I'm with that. Absolutely. I'm going right. to I'm I'm yeah, I'm I'm tell you something. I'm going to re-say it because people might not have saw it. One of the things that Tremaine, I know nobody never heard of him. We get that. Supreme uh, designer. Supreme, the supreme. Let's just, the, the, that's the elephant in the let's room. Let's not call him the that. supreme designer. Let's call him a designer at Supreme. So, uh, uh, <laughs> Continue. Okay. Continue. So that's the guy who spoke out against you because he said, "Keep Virgil' name out your mouth. You wasn't invited to the funeral." Very Welcome deep. Welcome to Drink, Drink Champs Three, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> 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 yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh. We back up in this bitch like we never left. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to take a pee pee at this point. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, yeah, so we can we come back to We got to take a piss break. Right, we got to take a piss break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't going to lie. I've been holding this shit this whole time. I was trying. I was trying to make Now we get warmed up. Yeah, yeah. Trading cards, like NFT trading cards. Oh. Yeah, man. Yeah, this Frenchie, everybody. Frenchie! Yeah. Yeah, I, had I, I feel like he like damn near a slumdog billionaire, because somehow this nigga knows everybody. Everybody. I mean, we back. That's, uh, you know, you see, that's the juicy, juicy juices ball. here. Got it. Yeah. 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 My wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, let me, let me. My wife just said she had a hat for you, but let's. Can we address this hat? What does the 2024 mean? 2024. The run. It's time for us to rise up. Mm. It's time for us to put somebody in office that is us, mm. that cares about us, that serves God and serves the people. That's mm. what 2024 means. Mm. Mm. 20, so so uh, we can't say this right now, or can we say this? He's been saying it. That I've been saying that we can't <laughs> say it. We can't say it, that we can't say it. Yeah. So that, that, that the yay might be against. But what if Trump runs? No, that's, oh, in 24, or he might, yeah. I, I I think that's what I think that's what America's been waiting for. You against Trump? Yeah. Who you voting for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not even gonna lie, man. I'm, I'm a fan of a lot of people, but you know, respectfully, I don't like nobody better than me. Right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> if he asked you to be VP, would you? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. If that was a piece, that's like me. Let's say like Watch the Throne then. Mm. 
Well, you thought he was VP on Rasha Stone? I thought I felt yeah, like I thought that it was, was equals co-president. But still, that's my elder. That's my senior. Mm. That's a person with that's more respect. experience. I, I yeah. love the respect. Yeah, I love that respect. Holy moly! Are we still on Quick Time with Slime, or yes. we moved on? No, no, no. Go Let, finish Quick Time with Slime, man. Let's... Yeah. Oh. And I and I'm already on the Bad Bunny situation. Oh, yeah. I love to see Latino shit. You see what happened? <laughs> yeah. He, he know where to turn Latino. You know what I mean? I'm always yeah, Latino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't gonna lie. I'm drinking this um, <laughs> Mama Juana. <laughs> no, don't drink that Mama Juana. Hey, man, Mama Juana, man. Jay, do you know where they make that, right? Don't listen to him, please. Yeah. You know where they Just make do not that? listen to what he's saying. They make that in a tub in Kindle. No, man. <laughs> you do yeah. not want to drink Mama Juana. This is Dominican Mama Juana made by no, the homies don't throw out here. No, Dominicans. It's made in Kendall. No, it's Dominicans, and it's not made in Kendall. You don't even live in Kendall. You come with that <laughs> fucking bullshit. In my mind, this is what happens. <laughs> in my mind. Okay, but this is the crazy. This is what's crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. I love loving hip-hop. I do love hip-hop for my one season. Ray Two J, seasons. Two seasons you want. Ray J comes, <laughs> and he comes, and he sees me. He's on because he's on Love and Hip Hop as well. So we have a conversation about you. And he goes, You know, I gave Ye what he asked for or whatever, whatever. But the next day he went on Hulu or whatever. Meaning the show. The show. I didn't know, you know. Did you hear his statement about that? Nah, tell me exactly what the statement was. <laughs> Uh, well, or basically, he uh, was just like, he, I mean, he. I, I don't want to, I don't think he dissed you. I think he just said that. Like, I, play, I played him out. Like, I, I literally took the thing that he was on. He's, he got this thing, you know, because we only got a little bit left, you know, just as mm -hmm. black people currently. Right. You know what I'm saying? What we got, the word nigga and braids. It's literally right. like what right. we own. Right. <laughs> right? So for Ray J to have, like, the information about the sex tapes and the laptop, he gave it to me as a black man. Right. And then I handed it over, and they lied about him. But I handed it over, like, I'm trying to show my... So this is like a, a private airport that y'all met at? We was at the airport. Uh -huh. uh, man, this man came in literally dressed like Black Panther. This man mm -hmm. came in like like it was like Wakanda. Like he, <laughs> 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 This man mask was so... It was like the Black Panther mask, for real. Right, right. So he, he's like, he's going to take it up to right. another level. And it was literally just you and him? Yeah. That was crazy. <laughs> And then he's just telling me about how he was told that he should, you know, like basically he was going to make him the bad guy. And then, you know, in the same way how, like, with the the whole crazy, yeah, he's crazy. Like, I don't like, I don't feel like people calling me crazy all the time. And Ray J doesn't feel like, he said he didn't feel like people saying that he leaked the tape like he had did, like, I think that's, that's what is that called? That's, a, that's an illegal thing, right? It's called, like, if you have a girl's footage and you leak it or something. What is that called? Foul. What's that? Revenge porn, yeah. So yeah. they made it oh, seem shit. like the tape was released on the premise of revenge porn. The original. The original tape to keep, you know, Chris and Kim clean. And in my eyes, from what I can see, from I feel like the lie detector test was fake. And That's people, what he told me. Yeah, and, and I, he and, said he said it publicly. He told me. Yeah, part. and people, you know, one thing about liars is they make the lie their truth. So even when you expose, <laughs> but yeah, this is still yeah. your mother-in-law. See, your... and that's the that's the thing, right? So we yeah. have a war, a spiritual warfare, right? I want to. I don't want to say good and evil. Say binary. Let's say say it's no it's no, no good and evil, right? It's just like spiritual warfare, and you got a thing where it's like. I am Ray J. I am Ray J. I was, I'm, I'm actually the exact same person, like the same video game character. Are y'all saying stepbrothers? Yeah, we stepbrothers. And me and Reggie, right? It's like... Reggie Bush? Yes. Jesus, y'all going too far. But get us going. <laughs> no, I'm saying, I'm but, it. but it shows you that Kim has a type. Every time you say something deep. Look, yeah. Look. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. But it, says, so it shows you that she has a type, right? We're the, the person, right, at that time mm -hmm. where, okay, we're gonna take this, like we're gonna take the sex take for Ray J. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take the, the credibility, we're gonna take his red hat and flip that to getting Alice Johnson out of jail. And I'll take some Balenciaga and some kids while we at it. Right. 
you know what I'm saying, and, and, and so a billion dollars right. while I'm at it. And now I'm on to this. But the only problem with Kim is that there is no this after this in this situation. But I feel, I feel just as used as Ray J. So Ray J gave this to me a confidence, but I was taking the tape. Like, I used my, like, whole, like, you know, as people say, I don't know karate, I know crazy. <laughs> I used the whole, oh, yay, so crazy to hit the 730 red line to because my advantage, right? there was an actual another tape, Ray, and you went... Ray J says, I've never seen this tape, but Ray J says that it was a, a second tape. Right, and that's what you gave her on Hulu, on... No, I, I get... It was just, like, some other kind of footage. This is definitely a, right. a awkward moment, or should we say a cockward moment, that we, like, <laughs> literally... Because <laughs> what do you do? It's like, he's got, like, the, the laptop, like the, like, the old Apple, you know, it's like a desktop type of thing, and it's like, okay, well, let's load it up, Ray J. <laughs> you didn't care if there was like how do you know there wasn't copies that he had yeah but I mean it wasn't about the co the, the big thing is like you know I'm actually friends with WAC 100 right now right. everybody right. the Jewish media you get what I'm saying whoever the, the, the head of Ukraine the head of Russia we're gonna be friends with everybody right you know why because God runs the world Mm. Right, we get on our our jealousy stuff like, you know what I'm saying? I'll be having like 12 writers in the studio that don't add up to Drake. God's version would be like, oh, Drake just said. That's why it was interesting when we heard 30 Hours because Drake wrote that for me. Mm. I sent him like, boom, here I got like this many ideas. Like the line I had like, um, I had, I was nervous to do Victoria Secret show until I pictured everybody with no clothes, mm -hmm. right? Was like a line I had and like- It's like a stripper line, keep yeah, it real. Like, yeah. But you don't think about it, it's like, you could, you could be nervous to do like a speech and they say what they say, picture everybody naked. So, I, so yeah. we flipped it like, I was n nervous to do Victoria's Secret mm. until I pictured everybody naked. Mm. And I sent it to Drake and Drake took it and barred it out and mm. wrote the whole rap. You understand mm. like how much easier my life would be if Drake would just like write my raps for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure everyone wish they had that luxury, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy but, to hear that. that's yeah. But, you know, that's what happened when I brought the head of Balenciaga to... Um, to Gap. Mm. Because we had sold a hoodie. We sold a hoodie I designed, me and Duff Charney from Los Angeles Apparel okay. Design. Mm. 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 That's okay. Tell me this, is this presidential? Yes. Is this yes. presidential? Yes. <laughs> now, now 2024, now man. Yo, 2024 presidential. Uh, it's 2024. Okay, okay. Yeah. Not, we, not we, legal. It'll be legal. You know, you, you, Let's you, you, go. You, you, Let's you, go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Decriminalize that. We got to decriminalize all of it. I got my license. I put it right on my head. We got to decriminalize it, baby. That's the one thing Joe Biden did. He decriminalized all the weed cases. Oh! I can't go This time, holy moly, That's what I'm moly. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Should we, should, should we have? I feel like the two Libras in the house to come with us and like smoke with me right quick. I don't know what happened. Uh, yeah. Don't bring yeah. me eyes Dude, the eyes. All the birthday girls. All birthday girls. Yeah, birthday girls oh, come over here. Yeah. Birthday girls. Birthday girls. Patricia, oh shit, she's going down. Let's go. Got that. Come on, bring some more hibiki for me. No. Hey, Patricia, I feel like we need music now. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mariachi. Mariachi, I did it for your birthday, Mariachi. Yeah. You did not appreciate it? Yes, I did. I loved it. I was very shocked. I'm <laughs> uh, very shocked. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, girls. 2024. Oh. 2024. <laughs> 2024. Every, everything. That's your secret service. Yes, this is secret service. <laughs> like Gaddafi. <laughs> Yeah. But it's all cool. <laughs> you and Ray. Ray J, okay. <laughs> all right, quick time. Finish the quick time. Mm -hmm. All right, finish. Now, we had finish? a couple points we wanted to bring up. We didn't even get to this. Oh, we, we get back to it. We're fucking up. This is Drake champ shit. We, because you know what? We still doing quick time with Slime? Yeah, yeah. Where, where's you? It's on you. It's on me. It's on you. Not a chico, better. All right. All right, I'm ready. Uh, go, let's go. This is good. New Jack City or King of New York? Sheesh. 
Because I'll be on some, I'll be, I, I feel like I'm Christopher Walken. I feel like I'm Christopher Walken. That's Frank so. White, right? Yeah. 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 Ironically, you pick Frank White, I'm being honest. Yeah. Frank White, that's what he's picking. You picking Frank White. So not Wesley Snipes in, in not New Jack Wesley City? Not Wesley Snipes, because you know Wesley Snipes like your brother. Nino Brown. New Jack City was dope. I, I just, I, 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 Goodbye, baby. I, yeah, I'm just more on some King of New York shit. Okay, all right, all right, I respect that. Yeah. That's, it's, it is what all it right. is. Chance or Lupe? Sheesh. <laughs> take a shot? We would it. I take a shot, but you know what I want to say? That's the level of intelligence. That's the level of kings. That's like Jewish business leader level minds that we have. Chance and Lupe are supercomputers, bro. Wow. We got what we need. Wait, so to, you said yeah. Jewish level minds, meaning they're thinking like... Yeah, they can think like... It's like... Think about like Chance is independent. You know, the funny thing is like Lupe is super gangster, low key. Wow. Super. He don't like be super, super. skateboards at That's all. That's what I'm saying, like with the yeah. glasses and everything, yeah. it's like... Uh. The most, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's like a, he's like, like a kung fu master I would master never, now ever, too. <laughs> I would never ever have a problem with Lupe type shit. Like you know, you, you never, you don't think of Lupe in that context. Right. It's like, it's real. yeah. So we're taking a shot for that. Let's yeah. go. Thank you. All right, salute. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Cheers, 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 fellas. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, but what, what I re, re, the reason why I said that right when I saw, I was like, oh, these are the people that's gonna get us right, like the Jewish people. These are the people that's gonna put us in that position. You know what I'm doing right now? You know, I used to, li- the way I look at the Jewish culture is the way I used to listen to a. Uh, Cause why not we just do it ourselves and not be mad at nobody but Jewish, I, I nobody we, Chinese, I, I, nobody we had, we black, nobody anywhere. We, 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 we gotta pop, get like the Chinese against too. the world. We gotta, the or Chinese just with it. on point. We gotta get like Chinese them, right? On point. We gotta okay. get our own factories, we gotta put it together, whether it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at like Warren Buffett's factory or something. It's gotta like, when you walk in, you gotta feel. That's the reason why, one of the things is like, when me and Puffy was like, uh, going back and forth on, um, on Instagram, or uh, text, I went and changed my, I was on a car service. I'm like, I wanna just did Maybach fleets for the whole, for everybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting my, like, my people in a higher, you know, position and stuff like that. I got two Maybachs type shit. I got, like, four, you know what I'm saying? Our fleet, down to pull up, it's just back to back to back to back to back, 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 yay backs and shit. And until we make our own backs. You know, until we make our own cars. But it's like, we're not really maximizing who we are. We're not living it to the maximum. We get, we're the legal BMF. You know what I'm saying? We have to think, like, in that manner. You know what I'm saying? Legal BMF. Oh, we take the shot. Y'all might have to take a shot on one of them questions. Take take shot. <laughs> you know how it is in Miami, mm-hmm. though. Mm-hmm. Boom. Mm-hmm. Uh, man, I ain't trying to play you by not mm-hmm. taking a shot. No disrespect. You got to a sip. You ain't gonna take a shot. You got to take a sip. Don't feel peer pressure from this guy. Yes, please feel peer pressure. From I, me. I feel peer. I feel. I feel peer pressure. But this is the the peers I want to be pressured by. Uh. And, that, you know, and and then and then we gonna put them. Yeah. We're gonna put them under pressure, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what it, you know what I'm saying? If Drake ain't live five blocks down the street from me, you know. Calabasas. In Calabasas, I don't know if we have beautiful morning. Mm. You're the sign of my morning Ooh. day. No, 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 morning. Ooh. Who can I turn to? We skip but, a good one. But that's the yeah. but I'm saying the pressure. Let's look at it like this. You know what? We had a real epiphany. I don't love the word breakthrough because that's the word break. Right. I'm very uh, serious about the way we word. use language. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. forward. Like the one of the best words we have is all. One of the best words we have is we. Another best word we have is us. us. So just every day for us, if we can remove I and move as a body, that's how. The Jewish people do because the Jewish people are already showing we gotta us leave the Jewish people alone. How to? How to how you how to, been going way too far. No, you gotta stop. The Jewish people are my new Drake. Right. No, leave them. Leave them out of Drake. But I don't even think it's Jewish people for you. I think it's a certain people that are doing yeah, I certain things. I think it was and twenty Jewish. people. I think it was twenty people who kind of hurt you and you kind of taking it out. On and the they happen to be Jewish. And the thing is, 
I have did that with like people from like our projects. I had beef with, and then I just <laughs> took it out on the whole project. And I'm being honest, I was wrong. I was wrong. So I'm just telling you, please, the Jewish people saying, love you. I'm Black st- people will I'm love you. I'm still wrong. Yeah. I'm still wrong. Yeah, still wrong. And I'm, I'm gonna, still in the wrong. Yes, yes, please. I haven't left out the wrong yet. Yes, 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 I'm not ready yes, to be right yet. Yes, 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 but yes, you, yes, you yes. should have the right to speak even if you're wrong or I should right. Have, I should have the right to be wrong. Right. Yeah. I got the right yes. to be wrong. Yes. No, that, that should be all of our rights. Right. All of our rights but to be wrong. We did have an epiphany, which I right. feel like we could get like a better word for that, but as an alternative word to break through, or two words, is when I said I was jealous Mm. Because that's really going to set it off, right? Because I know, like, the Scooter Bronze and my... Because Scooter Braun is my boy also, yeah, right? I know. You know Calabasas what I'm saying? as well, right? Because even when I talk shit, it's just, like, complaining about a foul. But, you know, I'm like... I'm like AI and Jordan combined, right? Uh. It's Because it couldn't be a, a John Morant without an AI and Jordan, right? Uh. He, he brought Carrion. He uh. made Carrion legal, right? Because Carrion, uh. like, it, 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 it relates to the way we play basketball. Uh. You know what I'm saying? So everything about basketball relates to the way we play basketball. Mm. And we could hit a three-pointer while we at it, but mm. everything is super, super, super niggered out, right, in mm. basketball. Yeah. Well, I make business super niggered out. Right. You know what I'm saying? I go to Did business. Did you have a meeting with Adidas and you play yeah, porno? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You play oh, no, porno. You definitely you play porno for you play, uh, what's, your, what's your perspective on that? I'll tell you mine. No, I don't know. I just, my boy told me yesterday. He's like, "Did you?" I go, I didn't know nothing well, about what, that. What did he, he say about it? What did he say? He the way he told me this is the, what I got from the gist of the little bit he yeah. told me that you were just showing them how perverse they were. Exactly. Now, that's it. That's all I know. The I funny get thing. Out okay, of it. so the guy in the he meeting, loves Adidas, by the way. Oh, I'm, Adidas, I'm an Adidas know. guy. He's I'm a, a company guy. I'm still yeah. gonna be Adidas He's a company guy. guy. <laughs> Adidas. Adidas got this samba that Bella Hadid be walking around with. That is like I love this shoe. I love this sneaker. Right. Amelia Gravy walk around with this shoe. The uh, so. Um, Shelto is a legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hope Run DMC, I hope they, they've gotten Run it. DMC they need to get more to do with this shit, right? No, 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 but they made it. Yo, yo, yeah. I'm going to make sure when I become the head of Adidas that every rapper ever can... Are we ever, saying, ever, is that where we going? You saying you're going to be the head of Give Adidas? Give them what they deserve, that's man. A side, that's a side note. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, Fuck yeah. All right, so, so what, we, what was the question you I want to come up with a drunk sneaker. No, we we're be talking 21 about, years we old. We got to get you the sneaker. You're 21 years older. And you gotta, and you, as soon as you buy it, um, still, you gotta take a shot. Wait, no, man, come what, on. What was the question? You had a good question I want to answer. Though, no, we were just talking about that moment when you showed the porn okay, to the executives. We're about, and now we're talking yeah. about your sneaker. Yeah. At Adidas, at this point, I should be the person that says, Nori, get a sneaker. That's right. I should be the person that delegates. But instead, they gave it to Stella McCartney's husband. And I'm not gonna speak, speak no ill on Stella McCarty's husband because I'm cool with her, uh, with his father-in-law. Mm-hmm. You know, that's my man. You know what I'm saying? That man stood next to me. We went into the studio. We did all day. We did only one. We did four or five seconds. Like me and Paul McCartney got joints. You know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why Adidas, you really found you a Virgil in Stella McCartney's husband mm-hmm. and a person that I'm gonna give a hug no matter what. Mm-hmm. So, cause that's the way it is. It's like. Even at War, even in John Wick, even with Neo, it's ones that they just have to pass on. So it's just like Stella McCartney's husband, because he's Stella McCartney's husband, part of the reason why he became Stella McCartney's husband, he get a pass from Ye, and you get a pass from Ye, you get a pass from the culture, right? But that said, uh, I did play that in a meeting. And it's funny because the first meeting that I had with John Wexler and different people in the meeting, I played, my, my favorite porn star of all time is Francesca James, right? And You got they, a favorite, uh, you got a favorite. Yeah, right? So I played this meeting with her drinking milk, right? So she was drinking yeah. milk out of a bowl with a cat. You out of control, and man. I like, you out of control. And I, yes, I think, that's, I think that's covered, right? So, uh, so, <laughs> so Francesca James, is, I played, sorry, her, sorry. I played, I played some adult content for the Adidas. Because what does Adidas stand for anyway, by the way? All day I dream about sex. True. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Killer Mike's version, right? Hip-hop. Well, it's the hip-hop version. <laughs> right, right. I don't I think know. Adidas... That's my battle. Battle. What is Adidas? Okay. We, we should me, find me, out me, what Adidas me, really means. Me and Jesus oh. going to have to arm wrestle. Because I'm yeah. gonna, when I see God, it's like, yo, bro, why you, how you make it where like, I'm on some Adidas shit where all day I dream about sex, but then in the... 
in the Bible, you told me I'm not supposed to. This shit got but, me fucking But, but let, me, let, 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 let me do a little curve. I'm just throw that as a question, you know what I'm saying? Because I know what's honest. I'm going to tell you honestly. So I went to the Adidas meeting, and I took out, I had a laptop. I don't have laptops anymore. I just use my phone, but it's just. And it's during the, the beef between what's going on recently. No, no, this is the beginning of the Adidas relationship before I even pulled out anything. Oh. And I was like, look, nobody's getting pussy in Adidas. People get pussy at Nike. And I was just like, yo. This is the way you presented your marketing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is amazing, by the way. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing. Marketing you guys strategy. are not getting pussy. Let's get pussy, guys. How many times, if you think about a situation where somebody got some pussy, how many times do you think some Force Ones was on the side of that bed? <laughs> or still on, by the way. Yo, yo. So, <laughs> still on. They might not take them off. <laughs> so, yo. so yo. but now, sometimes it'd be some 350s. So, uh, so that was the whole point. Yeah. And actually, this is something only me and Steve, Steve Stout know. You know the, the actual, the, the sewing at the top of the shoe uh, on the 350? You know, the little thing. Steve Stout, if you ask him what that's called, it's called a get pussy toe. I'm sorry, what? Get pussy toe? <laughs> ask, bring Stout here and ask him. That's what it's actually called. But who came up I, with that? I came up because I tell you, no one's getting pussy in Adidas, bro. Y'all, y'all got backpackers, and like, not, not like, not, not like backpackers, like, rappers backpackers, like man. mountain climbers. <laughs> I got niggas out here hiking. Niggas is doing everything except for like, and you know what, you know what Jesus, you know what God and Jesus loves when I say get pussy? Cause it's pro-life. It's pro-life. It's pro-life. Right, right. You get the pussy, it's baby's pro-life. happening. <laughs> Fuck a condom. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, Almost some Amish shit. Yeah. So, <laughs> fuckacondom.com. And we, and we not wear Yeezus. Don't, fuck, don't. A, fuck a condom, Libra. Those, those, <laughs> he, he going in, he going in. Those boots right now. What are those boots? You my body crap? Once you my girlfriend, you my girlfriend for life. Yeah, for life? You got a lot of life. Man. <laughs> I got life. Your life is different. <laughs> your your yeah, life kind of changed right now. Yeah. <laughs> what do you got on right now? What do you got on? I, you know what? I got some Yay boots, but they was designed by the future designer, a Yeezy, who's actually at Balenciaga right now. Dimna. I am not putting my shoes up. On, I so. got some <laughs> but you got some Adidas? Yeah. Now yeah. put them up, bro. You yeah, got put them up. up. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm up with my leg up. I'm sorry. Hit bomb. Right. Boom, let's go. Uh, yeah. I'm an Adidas head. I'm sorry. Hey, I let ain't... me tell you, you don't get me sorry because Adidas is a team. You know what I'm saying? Look my no, look my no laces. So, okay, this is what I did. So I played a Francesca James adult content uh, for... Which is basically porno. I don't use... I, I, I like to have a... I like to have adult, adult content. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that, that sounds uh, like so whole Think house. about, like, true love. Like, my kids can... We listened to True Love at True. Kim's house, which used to be my house. But uh, we listened to True Love in front of the kids. And Chicago be like, you said Chicago, you said Chicago. So I was big on Donda that even though I was beefing with their baby mama, uh, my baby mama, that I wouldn't say anything that I couldn't play in front of the kids. That that's the consciousness that I had to have as a leader in all of my content. So even right now, I say, OK, it's adult content, right? This is a grown grown conversation. It's a grown conversation that I ran into at age five, but it's still a grown-up conversation to me, right? So I played this for grown-ups in the Adidas meeting. I said, look, we have to do this mm-hmm. because culture, it ain't no culture. If you if you have a party and it ain't no girls there, that's not cultural. Yeah, that ain't right. And, and this is the reason why Drake that's- runs the culture, right? Because at the end of the day, He's at the time. It don't matter. It don't matter if I, I could take over Fashion Week for, you know, two weeks or whatever. It's like Drake runs the culture at the end of the day because the culture at the end of the day is about finding a nice young Libra that you could connect with <laughs> on her birthday, possibly. <laughs> uh, I feel like we're making a love connection today, bro. Drink chance to do it together, and make man. A, and, 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 make them, and make them always yeah. be your girlfriend. Man, you, you, they don't got to be friends with girlfriends, yeah. Come on, man. That's oh, yes, a, they do. Oh, my God. You're a Gemini. You better roll with No, them. I'm, I'm a Gemini. Yeah. I understand him, and I'm trying to... I'm going to just give you, like, a fun video game fact. Amber Rose and Kim got the same birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah. Forever girlfriends. You want to go there? 
Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh, let me take it. Where we going? Where we going? You, you hear me? Give me what you heard. Oh, no, okay. Now we got to follow up. So, so I'm, I got this thing where they, their documentary, right? It's called Last Week. And it's basically all this stuff that happens every week. But I'm like, Larry David is like the white yay. You know what I'm saying? So, you know how I worded that in a different way, right? So, <laughs> because my personality, Larry David's personality is just like mine. Mm -hmm. So I, he I'm loves, just, he loves I'm just going, like, guy. I'm pushing that's my favorite person on earth, real life. Larry David. That's what I'm, come that's on, man, what about person. me, man? What about that's me, you're 77, bro? boy. Right. <laughs> no, 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 77, boy. No. Oh, I forgot. You did. You did. But yeah. after, okay. after you see last week, I'm going to become your favorite person because yeah. now in meetings, I just push into it like on some Sasha Baron Cohen level. That's yeah, I'm not anything, mad at that. I, I, anything I that's, that's on my it, mind, that is, that's I'll genius. say it. So I played a video. And a funny thing is, so in this video, there's a video with Francesca James where her boyfriend has a German accent and he cheats on her. And to get her this back. This is porn, right? And, and, and it's adult. We don't use that word. We're talking in front of children. Yeah. <laughs> There's adult children here, bro? Film. <laughs> All right. Uh, adult, adult, adult content. Adult content. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, so, so finish, finish. So, so what's happening in it? Okay, so in the con I, so in the joint, she, her, her boyfriend cheats on her. So in the, the, the context of the film is her boyfriend. And I'm talking about in this. In the porno? This is. We don't choose that word. I mean, excuse me. Don't feel like I mean, come on, guys. Okay. So, and in in this, this is this is filmmaking ma magic, right? So, <laughs> this is Scorsese. This is Scorsese level. <laughs> this is Cohen Brothers. This is Spike Lee. You know, so I mean, so, so in the in the context, of the script is the script goes as such, right? Uh -huh. The Luca, Luca, I am your father moment is. You know, you know how to control the game. I love it. I love it. The source will happen. Action. <laughs> <laughs> so the Luke, I'm your father moment is, so her boyfriend with the German accent cheats on her, so she has a black guy come in, and they hook up in front of him. And he keeps on begging. In front of the pops. In front of, in front of her boyfriend, Oh, right? boyfriend. Oh, and then the boyfriend's like, please, no, stop it. And then eventually, they all join in together, right? Out of control. So then, this is the movie that I play. And last week, right? And we got to show. We need to like literally show this on this clip so people could understand. Send us the footage. Right? We will we, put it because I have it every week. It's my own. I had a show on HBO they didn't use. It's called Little and a Little Inappropriate. It was shot by Larry Charles, who shot Curb Your Enthusiasm. Wow. And, it, and it they didn't, didn't get picked didn't up. Air it? It didn't, so now I got, I'm doing a show again. But you okay. own it though, right? Uh, of course not. Who do you think owns it? <laughs> Fuck, man. But how? But you would know. You would know to make the <laughs> deal. <laughs> but you would know to make the deal to own it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just finish the idea of okay, what happened. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. so let's fast forward to the next meeting with Adidas. And I was like, yo, this guy, this guy Torben, his voice sounds just like the guy from this video. So I hold the, the video up to, like, right next to his head. And I'm just like, I'm asking my boy Shervin, right? I'm like, don't he sound just like him? And Shervin just keeps saying, yo, he does sound awful like him. The guy from the Adidas meeting has the exact same accent as the guy in the film that's watching his wife hook up with the black guy. And I said, well, how does it make you feel that I'm playing this? Does this make you feel uncomfortable? Do you think this makes me feel how I feel when you name my Yeezys for me, when you pick my colorway, mm. when you limit the amount of Yeezy slides and then make your own version of Yeezy slides? How are you feeling right now? You get what I'm saying? I'm making people play business on my turf. But and then after that, I went and got a massage. <coughs> Absolutely. That's what happens. That's what happens. Massages happen. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's, because, because, let's be clear. No, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Real quick, I, I want to ask a business question. A real, in, in your business with Adidas, is there any way that you were able to, in, when you made the deal, that they cannot duplicate anything without your consent. We're gonna we're gonna fix all of that up. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna fix all that up. It's fine. You gotta understand, I'm 68% of Adidas board. So I didn't cross the gun Ooh, line. I, I, that's I, that's that's heavy. I, I, I mean to say board. That was oh. drinking the smoke. I did okay. both. Uh so uh because board is heavy. It's <laughs> heavy. Yeah, okay, so I am uh, 68% of Adidas online sales. Okay, okay. 
Yeezy is, as a black man, I'm the 100% owner of, no, I'm the 95% owner of the Yeezy trademark. Who do you think got 5%? Our friends. Jews. Jews. No. Come on, you got Jews? What the fuck? No, what the fuck is that? Sounds crazy out here right now. I'm, 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 point, I'm pointing at you. I think you can figure it out. Who got 5%? Who got 5%? Think about it. If I'm asking you, who got 5%? Nori. Who got 5%? Kim got 5%. Yes. Kim has 5% of Yeezy. Oh, and yeah, how much you think I got as Kim's? I got 5% as Kim's. Jared's cushion bitch ass got 10. I'm starting to get lost now. I, lo I got lost. I don't know if I was supposed to make noise. No, I was like, no, noise, no noise, no noise. I know it's just too much truth. It's like, it's awkward. It's like, yeah. But so, I'm the 95% owner. Of, of Yeezy. Yeezy, and Kim is legally the five percent owner of Yeezy. But you gave her that because for our birthday, remember? Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. your family. That's your legacy. That's for the kids. We right, right, right. That's nothing yeah. wrong with that. <laughs> Definitely nothing wrong with that. We don't want to shit. We don't want to shit on Kim over here. We like Kim over here. My thing is, I you know, I I love Kim. I would take Kim over anyone. Right. Let me get the blunt back. Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. move with that. Let me get that. Okay, yeah. continue. Yeah. yeah, but I feel like, you know what I'm saying? When I when I was having this funny thing with the issues with like Puff I was having. Thank you. I went to the I went to the Waldorf and I saw a couple people. Out, Waldorf where? Because I, I visited. The Waldorf very... in uh, California. I love it. And I saw a couple people just standing out in front of the in front of the space, just standing there. And I was like, oh, man, Puff really does this, yeah. right? And it just made me think, I got to really get on my billionaire shit. So I went and bought a $50 million uh, penthouse, and I made back the fleet out. Because I was like, yo, I'm not gonna, I can't be walking around homeless, like, beefing with Puff. You got to, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't think that would have been an issue. <laughs> and um, so what I really did get out of it is to, like, Puff, like, stay rich, never going to... You know what I'm saying? You never seen this man in no vans. You know what I'm saying? This thing is just keeping he's always rich. A, he's good. But he's always been rich at all like times. This. He but was like this. He was doing the puppy dance. You remember? You was <laughs> Puff you is did. my idol, bro. Yeah, that's what I, that's I, why like I said. I was like, yo, I know how Virgil feels now mm. on the times when I scream at Virgil, especially if I scream at Virgil in front of somebody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But for Puff to call me and say anybody with a White Lives Matter t-shirt is getting greenlit, I know how Virgil felt at that moment if I ever said something where his idol said something that hurt his feelings. Mm. And, you know, and that's why Virgil took the watch from Drake. You know what I'm saying? He knew that would hurt my feelings. You know, we hurt each other's feelings, and we don't mean to, but part of the reason why we hurt each other's feelings... But I want to address that. He said Virgil took the watch from Drake because Virgil actually designed a paddock. Oh, well, Virgil, I'm sorry, Virgil took the watch, sent the watch to Drake and all that type of stuff. Because he, he know that, like, you know, that would hurt my feelings. I work with Balenciaga because I knew it would hurt Drake's feelings. So we're operating, like I said, it's 4D chess. You guys are this, playing crazy games, bro. Yeah, you got what I'm saying? This is like real war. This is psychological, like Virgil was a psychological warrior. He was a warrior, bro. That man made it from being Ye's assistant to the head of Louis Vuitton. That man's a warrior. And I'll be honest with you, you held on to your family. You want to still be with your family, in my opinion. Mm. Outside of looking in, that's the inside of looking out. Mm. I feel like we always want to see Ye back with his family. Absolutely. That should be the goal. I, that's the real Ye back. Yay back! Yeah. Are we making some noise for that? Yeah, man. Come on. The, the family is first, bro. Fatherhood is first. Family is first. Because I, I feel like I feel like you know me as the outside looking in, as the inside looking out. I feel like that's very important to you to, for you to be at your children's activities. It's important for me to be the person that's setting the tone of what they what their content is what they're wearing, to be there, to be a presence at all times. But I was taken away from my dad, and then, then I was taken away from my kids. 
And that's what they did to the black community as a Tuskegee experiment, basically. And they're using that same tactic to destroy America. Mm -hmm. And that's my opinion on the reason why I have to run for office. Is but, because but hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, just to okay. try to like. The thing is, this is the thing. You could say all this stuff, and you could say Tuskegee, and people don't even know what that is, right? No, hold on, hold on. Google. No, I know. Hold up. And the, and just, they, they just think that you're throwing things out there, and they're like, yeah, he's just saying things. But if people do the research, if you can articulate what Tuskegee hap what really happened, which is legit, it really happened. It's not a conspiracy theory. The government did this to people. Then you can get people on the side of what you're saying. It all becomes about articulation. And history, because history is real. And, and that's what I think sometimes, I think we as Americans, we have no history anymore. We're not learning history, real history, teaching history. It's all done, it's gone. And we need to bring that back and bring it back in the right way where people articulate what it really happened. What you guys are doing was different right here because as you're talking, I felt, I was like, wow, there wouldn't have been no way for me to become president without coming to Drink Champs. When you were talking right now, <laughs> like, who, you know, who... You know what I'm saying? What you, the way you articulated it, because it's very important that we stay in constant communication. That's what the, that's what the enemy wants us to do. They don't want us to talk like the slave ships, right? They cut our tongues and right. told us not to talk to each other. And not eat pork. You know? Yeah, like what the thing is, even in the way we chop this up, you, you, we need you, you to bust bring that it. Denny's down. We say <laughs> since you bust that Denny's down. <laughs> Yeah, that Denny's. I remember I used to play ball with Common at uh, with, with Rashid at um, at UCLA, and afterwards I was like, "We can go to Denny's." You know, this nigga a skinny actor. He said Denny's, but I like Denny's. After <laughs> but I, I want to just take this moment of breath and just soak it in. How how important you guys' voice is, and I, I want to just compliment, you know, my favorite person in the world. Do you know who that is? Uh, does anyone here know my? No, do you, does anyone here know who my favorite human being is in order? I would think your mom is. No, no, not my mom. Close. Me. I want to compliment me. Through your mom, your mom empowered you. Yeah, second favorite. So I want to compliment me on having the wherewithal to be sitting there through the divorce, through all that, and say the next time that people hear me talk, I'm going to drink champs. And think about this. You know, when I was at Rolling Loud, I hadn't seen Future until I saw him on stage. He said, freestyle, freestyle. And he looked at me and said, like, man, most influential in the world. We sat there. And I was there. I moved to Miami to work on Donna 2 with Future. I put a small hoodie on, took an Uber over every day. And Future kept on being like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Future would be happy now because they have Maybach fleet, you know, houses, all this type of shit, buying houses for all my girlfriends. So, uh, the, <laughs> so, uh, uh, but it's proven. You think, and the funny thing is, now let me tell you, here's a drink champs of all drink champs of all drink champs. We in. <laughs> Future said, I will wait for you to me and said, make it about Kim. Oh my God! Not like the boy. You gotta remember, he also said, "I'm gonna fuck your bitch in the Gucci flip flops." And I'm gonna fuck your bitch in the Burberry <laughs> diamond flip flops. Now, what if uh... y'all fucking bitches in a lot of things, bro? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta ask. What's that? I gotta ask, yeah. You gotta Those ask yeah, about the Gucci flip flops. Thong flip flops that yeah. you walk through <laughs> in Fashion Week. <laughs> we were proud of you, and we was also like, we don't know. <laughs> he, gave, he was time. not proud of you. But, but I just you, kept on thinking, this is for future. This would be the new wait. flip flops that future should use to fuck your bitch. I just fuck your bitch in some diamond flip flops. There we go. That's that's a new one. I just fuck your bitch in some diamond flip flops. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Right. That's a new one. But it's not even diamond flip flops. Yeah, yeah. Diamond flip flops. <laughs> We gotta get the diamond flip flops. Okay, but let me ask you something, yeah. 
Because I, in my mind, let me tell you the most influential people in my life: God, my dad, Future. Hey. Let's go ahead, give you that. Yo, but how about the forty-four? Uh, Is it because you designed this when you was forty-four? That's because that's your size in Italy, and Italian sizes is forty-four. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you mad Italian, son? <laughs> You mad Italian, son? Yeah, you mad! Come on, yo. Holy moly. Italian Nori, sit down, bro. Italian Nori, I gotta relax. I got on Balenciaga and everything. So, can we describe the Balenciaga relationship? Get closer to the mic, bro. Got closer to the mic. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, Lee. Y'all gonna have to adjust. We have to yes, adjust. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I just wanna lean back. Sometimes certain stuff I certain stuff I say I gotta lean back. Nah, you I good, you good, you good. I can't even say it. We like, turn up your mic. Our mic's gotta be good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do, do you finish quick time with slime? No, we didn't. No, we didn't finish. We didn't finish it. We did not finish quick time Yo, with slime. Yo, but I'm gonna tell y'all straight up the bar that I wouldn't have been able to make unless we did this in real time. Yeah. The whole I'm jealous because it's such a perfect thing. It's basically saying, hey, you know, my people rise up. They did something good. Let's copy what they're doing. And let's, and let's, let's rise up the so way they rise up. So why not start with that, though, yeah? You know what I mean? Like, why not say Jewish I, people, we're not, we're, we're, we're I didn't not trying to offend God, you. God didn't give it to me yet. Ooh. God gave it to me here. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, dream church. Dream. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 Jewish people, I want everybody to know, Black people, Jewish people, Kanye loves y'all. No, I'm jealous of y'all. Which is which is, <laughs> which is love. Which is bigger than which is love. bigger than love. Yeah. Which is love. Which is love. Quick because we are quick, quick time, bro. Relax, man. Bro. <laughs> Fuck with your glasses on. You <laughs> fucking me up right now. <laughs> no, but you know what I want would like to uh you know, last couple of questions um focus on is um a lot of people, they say it's absent as the black father. And I feel like that's your whole plight. It's your whole, everything is to be present as a black father. Yeah. And when you say these, like, you know, my kids, I didn't get, is that, is that, is that actuality? Like, you know, you're not being invited to your own kid's birthday party? Or you can, I mean, you, 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 yay, you, you can do your own birthday party. Or do you want to be invited to the one birthday party? It should be one birthday party. It should be one family. Should. It shouldn't be separated in that way, At period. All. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Yep. I agree. I agree. So that, is that what happened? That's what happened. They right. didn't invite me. So they would have Corey, that we don't know his family, we don't know where this guy came from at Chicago's birthday party, at Psalm's birthday party, and not half me. That's incorrect decision-making, Chris. And Chris, I got a problem with you for doing that. And by the way, if my dad was there, or if my mama was there, because they ain't finna play with a black woman like that, it wouldn't be no chance that that would happen. Mm. But we get played with so much by the media, and you just write yay off as crazy, that they could go to the extreme of kidnapping my child in real life. Yeah, I would like to have Kim as my wife, but on God's terms, not on the Hollywood media's terms. Not, hey, I'm married to Hollywood, I'm Marilyn Monroe, I'm listening to Corey, I'm listening to Hil Hillary Clinton. No, we listening to God. Because if you take a family, it's like a, it's like a pyramid. The father is there, the mom is there. The Trinity. When y'all get closer to God, y'all get closer to each other. Right. right. All these training, yeah. Real shit. We respect that. Yeah. We respect that. We love that. Yeah. Let me ask a presidential question. Oh, Let's right. just say in one future, you're running for president, right? And we're still in the quagmire that is the Ukraine war. I made y'all see the 2024. Why he's talking. What do you, what would first time a President Ye do to avoid what might be World War III? I'm in ending all wars. How? 2024, we ended all wars. Because wars, 
But war. how do you end wars? wars? Don't just say end wars. You gotta you gotta get real because tactic. war is made off of greed and deceit. And economy as well. Economy. But there is a free economy that the world has created for us that needs to be simplified by me. I am the visionary. I can end war. I can end war. We can end war. But how? Don't just say that. Give me, if you were the presidential candidate, what would you say? How would you end it? You know, the biggest thing is I can see things. I live 20 years ahead. Everything I do is like some someone would do. As you should. 20 years ahead, <laughs> right. right? So it's laying out the plans. The same way how I lay out. I laid out the blueprint for blueprint. But you got to give us a layman. You're going to be speaking to constituents <laughs> that don't understand here's anything. A, here's, here's the rap language. I made the blueprint for blueprint. I made the blueprint for blueprint right. as a vessel of God. Not me. God is actually the only artist. This is the thing. God runs the world. In this situation, we came up with the idea of not like, oh, DEFCON 3, but hey, I'm jealous of the Jewish people. Why? Because they don't abort their people, because their families stick together, because they do business together, because they don't shoot each other dead in the street. Here's four reasons for me to be jealous of the Jewish culture. We made that today. I don't have the exact answer in front of us today in 2024, but Moses had four chapters. So when he dropped the Ten Commandments, if someone screamed out, what are we going to do about the sea over there? Right. Oh, by the time we get to the sea, I guarantee you God's going to give me a staff to part it. But right now, we're here dealing with the Jewish comment, blah, blah, blah. That's like kind of the main thing. And we... We solved it. We, matter of fact, made something that brought all the Jewish people in mm -hmm. and the black people in together. So going from the person that turned his back on black people with the White Lives Matter and then was anti-Semite with the DEFCON 3 comment, we've now brought in together. And you told and George Bush he don't like black people. That happened also. Come that, on. But let's, this, let's no, not, no, no, hold, can't, hold, sorry, we sorry, can't sorry, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just wanted to, like, yeah. I really feel like it's important, like, right now, like, yeah. the war in Ukraine, could spill over into a nuclear war. We don't know. We don't know. It could be World War Three. Biden got money in Ukraine. You understand we, we that, We know right? that it's, def it's, it's nefarious what's you, going you on. You understand Biden has money in Ukraine. Absolutely. Okay, so, so what, we what is there. Kanye, what is Ye doing? And that's, what, that's out of being selfish, right? You know what I'm saying? I'd be fine to not have any money whatsoever and be able to make the monasteries. That's what, that is my main focus, is the monasteries. But you fuck with Putin back in the days. Absolutely, and Putin yeah. would love, love a monastery also. He's an Orthodox Christian, right? right. Yeah. So we, let's ask the, the head of Ukraine, is he Orthodox Christian? The head of Ukraine, can you bring us out here? Let's uh, ask. Zelensky, Zelensky. I mean, you can ask, you can, he's you can ask him. He's a comedian. He's actually, he's actually, he's you can ask comedian. him, he used to be an actor. You can he's ask him. He's a comedian, yeah, he's a comedian. He's a yeah. comedian, you can ask him. I guarantee you could get him, you know, here, because, you know what I mean? So, I doubt we'll get him here, but we yeah. could get him here, kind oh, of. Oh, I think you get him here. We do so, get him here. So, 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 what was the question, though? No, I just wanted to know what you thought, what would you do to avoid World War Three in this situation? The world is led by the least noble and the most greedy. These wars and this threat of people dying are based off of Biden and his son's account, Josh Kushner's account. It's based off of a few really greedy people that want to run the world and they don't care who dies or who they leave miserable in their tracks because of it. My daddy, my two daddies, don't live like that. That's not what they built, and that's not who they built me to be. I already showed you multiple times, even who's, when who's I said... Who's the two daddies? Pops and God. Pops and God. God. Yeah. Yeah. I so, that. so, I showed you when I said Beyonce had the best video. I put myself at risk for the it truth. It was real. I put myself... I will put myself at risk for the truth. And George Bush don't like black people. Let's not forget that. I put myself at risk for the truth. Because right now, they be saying Kanye don't like black people. It's a little weird. Oh, I'm thinking BP at the same time. Sorry. Okay, so, say? I got this. Go I kind of got to use the restroom, too. I ain't going to go. Go, 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 go. We got one go, last second. Gemini. One last second. Because I, I was heating up. I was heating up.
We gotta go from these shots to these shots. I need yeah. that. No, I need That's that. That's hell. We're I gonna be juice champ. Juice champ. Yeah, juice champ. No, That's juicy juice, juice ball. My wife owned it. I would love That's a shot of, of ginger from juicy juicy. Juicy juice. Yes. All right. Both juice champs. Okay, but let, let me ask, let me ask you something, yeah. We're like, I'm ready. We we rolling. Hold on, we rolling. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go. We already have addressed the George Bush don't like black people part. Do you want to address that more in detail? You you, you already did. He did it on, on previous show as well. Yeah, it's like, that's what I saw. That's that's what I felt, and then people just rode with it. They loved that someone said something like that. That's right. Yeah. Okay, but now Kim is actually helping Gunner get out of the penal. That's you, dope. You, that's I, dope. I, I felt like that's dope, too. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. That's... <laughs> It's just it's like, was that sarcastic? Or you know, no, I'm saying it's good. I mean, it's just it's just a thing to be like, hey, you know, who are the people that were, that black people would be like? Oh, okay, that's dope that you did that. Right. That's where it comes from. Yeah. You don't think it's genuine? You saying? Yeah, I think it's genuine, but still strategic. I think you'd be strategic and genuine at the same time. Mm. From your from your ex-wife. Yeah. I think you'd be both. I think I think she could use a little bit more genuineness. I could use a little bit more strategy, you know, for that matter. So. Okay. So moving on. Ray J actually hit me and asked me to help his in, his family integrity. No, this, this is what I'll put. I say like, I remember Kim was attempting to get Rocky out of jail, and Trump didn't really rock with Kim because he knew that she was just using the fact that he was president to get mm. people out of jail, and but she was playing both sides of the fence because she was really down with Hillary, really down with Hillary, right? So... But is that important? Ro Rocky was yeah, like... And, and, yeah. Trump was like, yo, I'll get Rocky out of jail for you. To for Kim? you? Yeah. Or to you? To me. Okay. To me. Because he was That's like, That's when yo, you said Jared though. What'd you say? That's when you said, um, what's the name? Jerry? No, it was just me and Trump talking. To right? get ASAP out of jail. To get, to get right, Rocky but, out of jail. But the issue is, yeah. should it be politically inclined? Like, it shouldn't matter who it's for. Theoretically, it should be right to get ASAP out of there. Yeah, but theoretically, it should. But that's not the world we currently live in. So we, you're, being, you're being honest about it. I'm always being you're honest. honest. So, that's, so, that's so we'll get to that point. So I'm saying that every time the celebrity does something... You know, in the public, it's, you know, to raise their profile or something, some way. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm here, right? But I would love for people to understand my perspective. I want to be, I don't even like the word want. We shouldn't want for anything, right? I need people to accept the version of me for exactly who I am, mm. for me to do the best version, version of you. Of, but for the people. Meaning, mm. like... Like, look, you're going to do the version of you regardless. Yeah, so say... So say Ye is in office 2024. Look at what I did at Adidas. Look at I, what I did next to Jay-Z. Look at what I did next to Kim. Look at what I did for myself. That's exactly what I would do. I'm 45 years old, you know what I'm saying? I'm old enough to be president now, right? So the, the same things I did, you know, whether in high school or col uh, you know, college as a producer or going into rap, going into production, going into creating merch, going into creating the, you know, the first sportswear factories in America since World War II. That's the mentality I have. And I'm, I'm a minimalist. I'm like, I mix a bit of the Amish idea of simple mm. life with Apple, Mercedes-Benz, Louis Vuitton. I still, Bernard Arnault is still one of my heroes. So I got to say that though. The That's the guy, of, Louis Vuitton. Head, head of LVMH, yeah. Yes. So I got a shout out to like good taste when I see it. I took, I, I performed at Bernard Arnault's son's wedding, Alexander Arnault. What? And I said, man, you know, when, when I'm the richest man in the world, I hope my son is cool enough to hang out with Ye. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm saying this on stage with him, but then I told him afterwards, I said, yo, Bernard, you're my favorite. Uh, Jeff Bezos is commodity, your opinion. Jeff Bezos don't have no opinion. He don't got no taste. Jeff Bezos ain't got no taste. You wouldn't ask him to pick out what you want for Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Jeff Bezos can't pick. Would you let Jeff Bezos pick your bag? You know what I'm saying? So he just learned how to go to Vegas and break the machine. 
It's Amazon, right? Yeah, and they respected him. I can't front. He, he, like, he came from a Cuban family. I got I to gotta represent. What's up, Cuban people? <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, and by the way, it's like, okay, you broke the machine, but, but Bernard Arnault, you know what I'm saying? It's like, put it like this. You know, at the end of the day, if, someone, look, if someone's going to colonize... I would like it to be Bernard. If I had to deal with a colonizer, I would deal with it being I mean, we Bernard. We should get beyond that part. Yeah. But, but, yeah, let's, I would, you know but let's address that. Yeah. And I, I think yeah. this is kind of serious. Um, where you critiqued uh, Vir- Virgil or my guy, what's Tremaine. The, Tremaine, and then they said you Tremendous. wasn't you wasn't you wasn't invited to Virgil's funeral. Yeah. Was that true? Why Why would he say that? Me and Virgil became rivals. At the end. At the end, yeah. But, but prior to the end, I seen y'all also hog. This is the person I spent the most time in the in my life with my mom, the second most time with Kim, the third most time with Virgil in my entire life. Mm. So this is still my brother. But, you know, am I my brother's keeper? You know, it's like mm. people have to, in order for Virgil to realize everything that he wanted to be. He needed to go take that deal from this white company to come back in a pink Cadillac and say, hey, I'm the head of Louis Vuitton. Mm. But can I be um, a yeah. devil's advocate? You took that same deal with that white company with... With Gap and with Adidas. And now, the thing about it, me and Adidas, is like, I could literally say anti-Semitic shit and they can't drop me. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? Now what? You know what I'm saying? So that's the position. That's the reason why when I was talking to Cube, I said, y'all gonna hold my ground. I'm not backing down. No Nick Cannon. No, no. And by the way, Nick Cannon, the GOAT, pro-life. Let's go. So, no, uh, Nick Cannon's over, man. <laughs> so, But why say anti-Semitic <laughs> shit if you know that you you love... You I, I don't you love saying anti-Semitic shit. That's yeah. the thing. I think, I think no, yeah. you're, you're owning I, that, okay, now, but I'm you're a, not saying anti-Semitic I'm, I'm gonna say, things. Let's take the word Semitic, right, and say we're Jew. Semitic. I'm going I'm to name you some anti-Semitic shit right now, right? Because we're Jew. Let me put it like this. Remember I talked about the chakras? Remember I talked about Rick Rubin? I talked about the 808? The chakras is real. Now, now, I'm going to say some anti-Semitic shit. I'm going to fuck your bitch. I'm going to kill this nigga. I'm going to fuck your bitch. I'm going to kill this nigga. I'm going to fuck your bitch. I'm going to kill this nigga. I'm going to fuck your bitch. I'm going to kill this nigga. That's the real anti-Semitic shit that the Jewish people get paid off of. Now, let me little Apple move. Then we want me on Apple right now? How, much, how many people want to bet their house that that content is not within the first three songs on Apple rap music. Nobody. So they're gonna have to take my life before they take my people. We ain't, go, we ain't taking it no more, bro. They get paid off that shit. Ain't no, when the last time you seen a Jew person kill a Jew person on Worldstar. But- and and again, devil's advocate. Is they you know is it devil's they, advocate? Is they just, yeah, you're no, no. advocating for the devil. Okay, but is they just Jewish? It could be all business people. Man, let me tell you what it is. It's like that's the thing that all, starts to get weird. All, all 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 white people is racist. Cross board. Trump, whoever you want to, boom. They all racist, right? Everybody's racist, right? Because worlds raises white supremacists. I love Superman. I love Tom Brady. All right. I see, I see, I see my whole. So why I, I see my whole throw that game. I see him throw that game. And it's so funny, it's weird, because I'm, 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 you know, it's like some bipolarity, right? Because I see Mahomes, and I can see it in his face. I've seen a couple passes he threw. I knew the conversation. The conversation is like, you got a long career ahead of you. We need our boy to get seven rings. And I love Tom Brady, too, so I'm, I'm torn. You know what I'm saying? You're not always one thing. When you were A.B.? You were A.B.? Yeah, I'm, I'm with A.B. I'm talking about when Tom Brady won that Super Bowl over Mahomes. Okay. Right? So... I seen him throw a pass, and it looked like Christian Leitner running up the court slow to me. Because I seen it. I seen it. I know, and I knew what the conversation was. The conversation, you got a long career ahead of you. We need this one. You ain't going to be coming out doing all this. My moon, you ain't going to be moonwalking today, Mahomes. We'll give you your opportunity to moonwalk. It's just not today. And if you go out here and pull a... Bruce Willis on Pulp Fiction, you pull a yay, <laughs> you won't make it. 
And they showed him a picture of his grandmother. And they showed him pictures, you know what I'm saying? Do this sound like about right? Does this sound about right? Yeah. And the interesting thing, the way how Quentin Tarantino framed it, whether it's in Pulp Fiction or Django, he framed it where Ving Rhames was the Jewish media. And mm. Bruce Willis was us. So go back and look at Pulp Fiction and look at what it was. Mm. This is real NFL. This is like on TV, bro. Act like you ain't see that. Act like in my home saying like, man, all right. Okay. No, but let me let me, let me just ask you because And I love Tom Brady, bro. I love Tom Brady. I love Tom Brady. But guess what? I was also taught to love Tom Brady. Who's your first superhero? Superman. So the whole world is white. Is that his shirt? You got the Superman. No, this just tremendous. No, the other, other, other other shirt. We did. Like, no, versus. instead of Superman, we had like it was Ali against Superman, so it was me against uh super uh tremendous. Uh, but where we were going with that, bro, it's like we've really we we've re landed on some kind of planet planet here, something mm. that was ordained by God here, something about the balance, the sensitivity, the drinks, the the juicy bar, the the douce. Juicy juice bar. Yeah. God damn, make some noise for that. God damn. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Juicy Bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Juicy, Juicy Bar is quite delicious. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. It's great after workouts. <laughs> <laughs> we don't live in a correct universe, guys. No, no, but yeah. <laughs> Juicy Joe! <laughs> <Joy! laughs> We're fucked in this universe. <laughs> you got the Juice and the Juice. <laughs> Yeah, you stay on some fuck. You say, <laughs> I don't no. give a fuck. Who say? <laughs> but 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 yeah. Y'all want no smoke? You want Lucy's? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the small ass cigarette left. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> no, but yeah. This real shit, like um, it was so many people that was conflicted, and then switched sides because we didn't understand. Who was your plight? You mean on the red hat or the t-shirt or what? Which part? Yeah, I mean like his specific plight. Yeah. So I fuck with you. I love you. I consider you my brother. And I to these people that that is complaining, I'm the guy that's talking to them. So help me out on what's what's your actual plight. Who's your number one producer you ever work with? Me. No, okay, at that, who you say? Pharrell. Pharrell. Right, I said Pharrell. Right, Pharrell. My wife just said Pharrell. Fuck I'm up. the Pharrell. Yeah. I'm the Pharrell of politics. This for me? I'm the first time you see yeah. a black dude wearing a Harley Davidson hat riding on a, you know, on a, on a You're GT, transcending on a, on a, on a Haro so. GT or a GT bike. Cause I used to freestyle bike. I was a extreme gamer and shit. I can I can stand up on top of a bike like this and ride and shit like just like Pharrell. I was a nerd also. You know what I'm saying? I was a nigga with the pink polo and uh, you no, know and nerds. We love, we love you. ruling yeah. the world right now. Yeah, yeah. Tech, that's what tech. I'm saying. In a way, they got a guy had a taste though, bro. You know what I'm saying? Steve Jobs had the best taste. I've yet to meet a tech guy with better taste than me. I'm the next frontier. You got Ralph, Steve, and then it's me. You know what I'm saying? It's like none of these guys, even Elon flew uh, me, you know what I'm saying? Vori, Wack 100, it's like a, a team of us like went to SpaceX. He flew me in his new jet out there. He said, I want you to design SpaceX for me, blah, blah. We were sitting there, Grimes was there. He just had a newborn, we watched a rocket take off. But, but before we started the meeting, he said, you had the best EQ on the planet. That means taste, best EQ on the planet. This, this is a person, guy. Yeah. <laughs> this is a person that a lot of people consider to have the best IQ on the planet. He says you got the best EQ on the planet. EQ. The EQ is the connectivity. Mm. How, man, how can like Jay-Z be my brother, right? Kim, like be my baby mama type shit. I'm here talking to you, right? But you got a connection. The same way that you connected with Pharrell and in ways you indemnified him is the way you correct connected with me. You got a sight mm. beyond sight. It's something that you got that's like you see. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. 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 
Yeah. Uh, keep going, yeah. yeah. You yeah. giving me that shit, man. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying that's it. It's, and it's something to that. Because mm-hmm. I was I was watching it. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. And what yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and what people say when I wore the red hat or when I wore the t-shirt. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. You no, know, what I'm saying is like, look, man, this is a trauma economy. Right. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm. I'm not here just to pull up in like the Cadillac and impress the oppressed. It's time for us to move forward. It's time for us to get free. We have to leave the Roman Empire. I mean, the Egyptian Empire. Sorry, I'm doing Moses comparison. Like you, we have to make our own empire. We have to get free, just like the Jews did. So if people want to argue, right? Because it's a question. You know, are black people really Jewish? For me. There's go read it. Yeah, we are the Israelites. Blacks are Jewish. Yeah, we are blood of Christ. The Orthodox like Putin uh, like feels like Orthodox Christians feel like they are blood of Christ. I'm on some arrogant Christian shit. I feel like I'm blood of Christ. You know, I'm on some arrogant God shit. You know what I'm saying? Like right, I feel right. like I'm blood of Christ. But for the people who argue if we are, you know, or not. No, but, 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 but yeah, I'm going to be honest. Be honest. I got to be honest. <laughs> so, but when you wear the White Lives Matter shirt, it kind of takes away from everything from black people. Because what it is is, like the same way you wore the uh, Confederate flag. Confederate flag. And we're like, damn. And I know you. I love you. <clears throat> I focus you. You my brother. So I, I, I take this. And I'm a real nigga. And I'm a real nigga in the streets every day. But even me, I question, like, why would you try to... Like, even when you said... You know George Floyd, and you said George Floyd, like, 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 and you said I could prove that somebody was wasn't on his neck. We don't even care about that, yeah, because we don't care. But, 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 let me finish. Mm. We, we black people, we, we, we black Panthers, we fucking the people that you gotta fuck with, you. We, we fucked with you when it was time for you to say that it's the fuck with you. We want to continue to follow you. We do. You are yay. But when the white lives matter, we know white lives matter. We know that. I, but, but black yeah. lives matter when when it, when. We are getting killed every fucking single day. We have to notice that. But since that happened, we haven't got killed less. We got killed more. We broke more shit up. You got to say, it's like what I'm doing is tight jeans. If you think about the mo, if you think about a Meek Mill's outfit and you picture him, you're going to picture him in some tight jeans. But the same mentality would have been Beanie telling me and Pharrell to come out the closet because we was wearing tight jeans back in the days. Yeah. And then I got on tape, I say, yo, don't try me like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm on some forward shit, and now me and Beanie, we good. Like, everybody know I'm Michael. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. no one, there's no one, like, no one. You know what I'm saying? But so guess what? I agree. <laughs> it's like, I agree. Yeah. But yeah. Can, can, you talk, can, can you let me talk? Yeah, and, yeah. But look, I agree. I agree with everything you say. But we really getting killed out here, yeah? Yeah, listen, listen. Mm-hmm. We're really getting killed out here. Our little brothers, our... But God bless, t- God bless our the children. The T-shirt's listen, not going to change it, you have, you have children named... You have children yeah. named Nori, Chicago. Imagine Nori in Chicago comes to you and says, yo, they call me a nigga. And then Nori says to you, well, why they call me a nigga? And they say, because they said black lives didn't matter. No, no. White no, lives no, matter no, doesn't no, mean that black lives don't matter. 
Yes. Right. That's, that's the thing. That's, we, that's, yeah. that's, that's the conversation. That's the conversation. That's, 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 that's what we need you to say. Yeah. yeah. That's the conversation. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. All right. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. That's what we need you to say. Because you know why? Let me tell you why. And and I did see Candy always um, shit. And when she says Black Lives Matter organization, separated from the organization. But let's just be clear. That's like saying. You know, the Catholic uh, Church don't love Jesus something. The Catholic or Church Wu-Tang. did something bad. Or yeah, Wu-Tang. like Wu-Tang. niggas did something bad. Or Wu-Tang. But let me say something. Wu-Tang? It's for the children. It's for the children? You, it's forever. Wu-Tang is for the children. It's yes, for the it children. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, yeah, Wu-Tang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wu-Tang was... I don't give a fuck if Devon or whatever, whatever is for anybody else. But guess what? Wu-Tang is still for the children. And that's what I want to... Fuck Black Lives Matter. Uh, Don't say that. Don't say that. You can cancel. You can get canceled no, 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 by the no, no. Jewish media. No, no. Say, Fuck Black Lives Matter. No, when I say that, when I say that, when I say, yeah. what I mean is, yeah. Black Lives Matter is an organization, but as a movement, as a as as, as a statement, people, as a statement, it home, matters. Home, home, home. You, you know, I'm gonna tell you, I love, I love the fact that we can be free in front of the world, right? Because I hear the do say and I hear the do say there. No, and this is how niggas. This, this is so real. This is, no, this no, 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 real no, speech. No, I'm not saying that take away. It adds to it. Like you at a somebody's wedding and somebody get into a fight with a family member <laughs> and at they the say end. Some and real like, shit. Oh, that. But they ain't said it until they had the do say. They say some and real shit. Di- and I'm telling you, the whole difference is when people come and speak their truth, they need to speak their truth off the do say. They don't need to speak their truth off of Hennessy. So I want to say today is, I need every single, and we can get back to the Black Lives Matter, but I need every single liquor store in the world to remove the Hennessy and put the Douce in it. I'm asking and calling for that. every... That. That. I'm asking every black person, when you want to drink and you want to go full the uncle that don't give a fuck level at the wedding, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> do it off the Douce. Don't do go it off crazy the Hennessy. Off don't do it off the Hennessy. Go Kanye no off the Douce. Go yay. Go yay off the Douce. Go full yay off Douce. Go full yay off Douce. Go full yay off Douce. But, 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 yeah, <laughs> let, let, let me just be clear real quick. Respect. Because... This is the only time. This that is delicious. This do say yes. it's good. <laughs> also for an evening nightcap. <laughs> a nightcap is well recommended, my friend. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, honestly, this is where we really love you at. We we don't we don't we don't love you at Tucker Carlson. We don't love you at fucking the Good Morning America. We, 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 I'm gonna be honest. This is what I do to these interviews. I just say, yay belong here. Mm-hmm. That's it. Because, yeah. are we lying? Hey, no. don't, Where do don't, don't play that part where he threw the hat. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 I want you to stand next to us because in order for us to vote for you in 2024, we need for you to understand that when a White Lives Matter shirt was worn, it wasn't the time. But maybe it he meant the conversation. That's the thing. Or, Did he mean the conversation? Because because I also see you post or repost, and you said... But I'm gonna donate to the real Black Lives Matter, which which I already donated to Breonna Taylor. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I put, That's I what we need to hear. I didn't, you know, I already donated. So what I'm saying is like, look, y'all don't want me to wear that shirt. If I ever, if these women ever kidnap my kid in broad daylight, I need the entire culture to stand up and be like, we not going for that. You got to understand, I didn't have Chicago's address. Chris Rock said, it's your, as a father, your only job is to keep your mama off the pole. Off the pole. The more and more Chicago is next to their grandmother, the closer and closer she is to the pole. Or the second tape. That's what I see. As a father, can't nobody beat that out of me. 
You can't yay as crazy that out of me. You can't yay as a sellout out of that in me, because at the end of the day, I got the knowledge that we have, our water, we got our homes, we got our shelter, we got our people that surround our, our family, our immediate family, mm. my immediate family. Chicago is either gonna be a blessing or she's gonna be a problem. And I feel that Hulu and I feel like Chris are trying to turn her into a problem. We As say a Chris, father. we talking about Chris Jenner. I ain't talking about Chris Brown. Chris Jenner. I'm talking about Chris Jenner. And I love Chris Jenner, but come home to Jesus. If you serve in Christ, I'm serving you. If you serve in anything but Christ, as you tell Kim and Kylie and Chicago what to do, then it's up. Because I'm serving Christ. And I am the living Rob. And it's up. So for the Did culture. Somebody say amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. So for, for the culture, y'all don't want me, because I feel like the culture didn't stand up for me when I asked y'all to. We're all what did you ask did. for the culture to stand up for? No. These women kidnapped my child in broad daylight. You know what I'm saying? Pete should be afraid for everything and it's like he how, how but Pete, Pete go on though Pete but how could he say I'm in bed with your wife and the coach just sit back in this but then y'all mad at me while I wear a shirt if y'all don't give a fuck about me I still love you but it's less of responsibility you know what I'm saying we gotta come collectively together <laughs> that was hard that was real but that's why we had this conversation. And by the way, we're gonna have this round table. Can you imagine when we design our communities, starting here down in Miami, Oof. and then around the world, Let's go. around the fire pit. And around the Drink Chance fire pit. Yeah, right there. <laughs> we got the Duce. We don't got the Hennessy. We got the Duce. <laughs> we need Karis One, yeah. Cool Herc. And you know what, Flash. I will say, yeah, I, I want to come and say to my people, I'm apologizing that that hurt. I imagine that Moses many times had to come and say, hey, I know this hurts you, but we're going here. It's a lot of people that had in their daily life and got used to like moving those bricks and building pyramids and all of a sudden building up Jewish record labels and, you know what I'm saying, building up the basketball teams or building up the fashion brands and shooting ads for like fashion brands we don't own or drinking Hennessy or signing with Larry Jackson at Apple instead of doing it on Tidal or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? And it's no knock to Larry Jackson. Larry Jackson got his own thing now, right? And that's better. But every single that's black good. artist need to be on Tidal. And every single black artist need to wear Yeezy. And if Cedric, the head of Balenciaga, talk left or right to me, we need to be able to turn the switch off on Balenciaga. And if he talk right to me and us, we turn the switch on. We have to come together as a block, as Claude Anderson said. We have to be a block. So this time, say if I don't, let's say just in our wildest dreams, Ye doesn't become president. Oh shit. Let's go. Ah, my favorite Jewish homeboy. Is ah. <laughs> that your favorite Jewish homeboy is here? <laughs> yes, it is. Steve Rubin, bring him in, bring him in, bring him in. Yeah. 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 Steve, Steve Rubin. Give him a five, these two. Yeah. Give him a five and you got to move up. Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. No, this is the This is the right here. Yeah. Yeah. Steve Rubin. Yeah, I love Steve, man. Steve is the go, bro. We love Steve. Steve. I'm going back. All right. Now, nah, Steve, you got to sit down, bro. Don't I got a flight to catch. I was just driving car up. Oh, yeah. all right. Yo, we gotta oh, put, really. we gotta, yo, you got to show us how to put this label together. You yeah. got to get all the Jewish information, all the Jewish yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Jewish yeah. 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 And he loves Jews, bro. Yo, it's one thing to love. It's another thing to respect. Uh. It's another. It's one thing to love. It's another thing to respect. Well, I love you, and I respect you. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, bro, it's all love, man. It's all love. It's yeah. all love and respect and power in God's name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hip hop is a tribe by itself. Yeah. So everyone is hip hop. Also, we come together. That's a that's a race itself. Hip hop is a race itself. That's what I've been trying to tell you that's the whole time. We, this is, is a everybody. race. I've been trying to tell mm -hmm. you that. Hip hop has no color. What are we doing with hip hop? 
Hip hop, if, if you say it's not a race, at least it's a people, yeah. just like how Absolutely. Jewish people are people. Yeah, hip hop against so everybody. Let, and we're making yeah. our people do our own thing? Yes. Yeah. It's time for us to do it. A tremendous name. I feel like Drink Champs <laughs> is doing that immediately, right now. This I feel is like a, we're doing it right now. Did you, did you, did you express everything that you wanted to express? Did we, did we get that, like, because I, I, I got to go in 20 minutes. I got to go. I got to leave soon. Yeah, so, I ain't going to lie to you, Kanye. I'm going to be honest with you. You didn't have to do this. You could have went to Stephen A. Smith. You could have went to Oprah. You could have went to anybody. But you know what you did? You came back to the culture. Oh, he did. Don't clap yet. We could have been scared. And guess what? We were scared. But you my brother. I like that I have that effect on people. I like you that I have that 730. You don't want to let me finish my speech. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You don't want to let me finish my speech. I'm gonna, you, you, wait, 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 wait. Do you not think you have the effect that we we really love what you do? We I like the, I like the love and I like the fear also. Nah, but mm. on the cultural standpoint, we love what you do. Yeah, you mean so much to help you. Good money in America. Nah, they don't give a fuck. They and by the way, because that's that's the thing, Tucker Carlson, they're gonna help me up hey. to the point where I'm like supporting Trump, right? Yeah, that's hey. what, that's all they care but about. At the end of the day, I'm gonna tell you for 2024, hey. Trump. Look, you know what I'm saying? Let's say let's say Trump goes in, we gotta demand. Whoever goes in, we got to demand that they give us what we need, but we need to define that, and we're going to need Ice Cube. Ain't going to be y'all, Trump, bro. Y'all, y'all ain't for the gang up, but who would it be if it wasn't Trump? DeSantos? Let's... let's uh, it's Mayor you, Suarez. I like Mayor Suarez. Yeah, listen, I like, I like Mayor like Suarez. Suarez. I don't like, I like you, yeah. fucking politician. But let's go. It's hey, you. Let's go, yay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to win in 2024. Hey, what Potentially, because I can't say I'm running for office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We won't for Kanye in 2024. Yeah. Mm. All them claps were loud then. I heard y'all niggas, y'all niggas is like. No, we don't, <laughs> we don't know if you're going to run or not. You're like, I don't no, know, he, I don't know. I didn't say, I don't know. I said, I can't say. No, you been flip floppy. Let's go. You been flip floppy, so, bro. I'm not flip floppy. I'm just saying I can't say, but I'm going to say like Trump told you. Everyone's going to be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> They just find out Trump put you in place. No. Yeah, but that's the shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what they said about me last time. They said, oh, Trump could put you in place. It's because I, I'm going to tell you like this. I don't understand. Like, I don't understand karate, but I understand karate, and I don't understand politics, but I understand people. All right. Yeah. I'm not at karate. Let's make some noise for that. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm not a career politician. I'm, I'm just... You know, special ed on a mission. Uh, you know, I'm just ooh, here. Ooh. To hey, like, don't take my ball. Yo, that's hip-hop. <laughs> that's hip-hop, yeah, that's hip-hop yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, all right, let's be clear. Yeah. Yo, this do say, do say also makes you have to use the bathroom every 20 minutes. <laughs> 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 hey, so this, yeah. so this is what I want. Solid, huh? solid, but let, 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 solid. Let's, let's address the elephant in the building. Why are you wearing the Trump, um, the, excuse me. It's not the, Trump. Um, it's not no, Trump. The, um, the sub, Supreme Lives Matter. This is not Lives Matter. This is Tremaine. This is mm. Tremaine. This, uh-huh. the, this is my boy that's at Supreme now. And the weird yeah. thing is, like, you he's know... He's a good guy. Why that's, you he's good? a good guy. So you think about, like, Pete Davidson. I gave him a, I gave him a, uh, a negative nickname, Ski Davidson. With Tremaine, I gave him something that was even more powerful. I yayed him up. I gave him Tremendous, right? And then we went in. We appropriate. We did a reverse appropriation of everything Supreme. And I went to the studio with Ian Connor, right? And we went Supreme in. Supreme is the... You know, it's a skateboard. It's, it's the high school, right? You know what I'm saying? Yes, so yes. it's like we went in and flipped everything. This thing is so... The Tremendous movement is more... I don't want to call it a movement because you don't move nowhere. That's like the Tremendous idea is so much bigger than a, even the T-shirt, the other T-shirt I wore. Like, this is finna go crazy. People are... Love this. And they love because you got Duff, Charney... It's bigger than White Lives Matter. Well, White Lives Matter is very important for a couple of reasons. One reason is the the leftists and liberals have used the trauma of black culture to black out the white voice. And the America 
is still majority white, right? So they're using the trauma of black culture to black out the white voice. So there's Trump supporters who love the White Lives Matter t-shirt. Also it is White Lives Do Matter. Also is a black person wearing a White Lives Matter t-shirt is appropriating and reverse appropriating. And we're not that smart. So no, but by the way, no, you guys <laughs> are. You guys, we are. We are. I just gave you three entendres to the reason why it was Double so needed. Double entendres. No, triple entendre. Quadruple triple entendre. entendre. <laughs> only, only right here with the platform that you gave me now have I ever thought of it, right? Yeah. It's Fuck a triple it, entendre. Yeah. But then the Jewish media didn't like the group, the wrong think, as Candace Owens puts it, of the idea of a black man wearing White Lives Matter. So they sent all of the bide and paw and blah, 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 you know, at me to say, oh, you don't love black people if you say white lives matter. But guess what? My baby mama white and her life matters, Meek Mills. But you could understand the problem with my, white lives. I give a fuck about Kim more than any of y'all. My baby mama white, she white, and her life matter. Off the do say. Yeah. Right. On some real nigga shit. Who's, so, guess, who's but, guessing over here? <laughs> so, that's the weirdest part ever. <laughs> no, no, I love y'all. That's, that's I'm your, in y'all building. I don't mean to raise my voice in your building, mama, but I, I'm, I'm up. I'm lit. I don't give a fuck. I'm lit. And like... <laughs> My baby mama white and her life matter. I did a fucking t-shirt, McMills. I did a 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 t-shirt, McMills. Yeah, something like that. No, by the way, I want it. Nigga, bring the Dracos, bring whatever guns y'all, whatever guns y'all motherfucking no, no, celebrate. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. No, we're not. We're doing, bringing back. We're, we're, we're not celebrating guns. Calm, or, calm no. young Rang Yim Q off this bitch. That is but by the way, shut the fuck up about me. Nigga, like, nigga, let's end it now. Seven days. Any nigga got something to say, kill me in seven days or shut the fuck up or you ain't talking about shit. How yeah. about that? On Drink Champs. Bomb. 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 I love it. I love my brother Ye. Take a picture and we done. Yeah. I love my brother Ye. And, 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 and by, I didn't mean to disrespect by raising my voice, bro. No, bro, no, come no, on. No, yo, no, yo, yeah. Take a shot, take a shot, take a shot, take a shot. Yo, yay, we Gemini, bro. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Adi da. Adi da. I got the Adi da. I got the Adi da. But, but yeah, we love you. We want you to know that mm. this is your, your house, mm. your platform. Mm. Sometimes we ain't going to agree with you. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to let you speak. Mm -hmm. And that's all that matters. Boy, I got shot. Bam, bam, bam. So is y'all saying I'm wrong and y'all right? No. <laughs> what the fuck? But, 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 real talk, real talk. We could be wrong and be right at the same time. Fuck we can yes. have, No, no, listen, talk. Real talk. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We cannot agree with you and uplift what you have to say at the same time. Let me tell you what this. We're at the beginning of this album. Plain Pat, he didn't like workout plan. He liked addiction. He was on the fence about Stronger, but Stronger, Stronger went diamond. My man. Yeah. <laughs> I need a shot. <laughs> I need, just, we, I need, need, we need my friend to be saved, guys. You see. Okay, so I'm giving you an analogy, right? We're at the beginning of this album. Right. Our life is an album. Our world is a symphony. We're playing on different notes. But like Quincy Jones, we have to bring it together and have us all play on one accord. We're at the beginning of this album. And even if you go back, like even J. Cole's sample workout plan, we could play workout plan, right? But by the time we got to Stronger, it was a diamond record. No. We are in line for a diamond record, but we have to do some unorthodox things. Workout plan was, for me as a backpack rapper, to have that song or even like be cursing or talking about the addictions I was dealing with and my addiction to girls and all this type of shit right. was weird because like most Def wasn't talking about that. Quality wasn't talking about it because it's not positive. It's not backpack, right? But I, I, I leaned into my truth. I found that Playboy when I was five years old and now I'm 
calling Irina Shake and you know what I'm saying? So it's it was my truth. But by the time we got to stronger, work it harder, make it better, do it faster, make that's my only diamond record. Right I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? So we're at the beginning of a new frontier. Whether it's what Dr. Dre did, we can't base it on the narrative that they're making for us. We now have to define our own narrative. Right. Like when you talk about the White Lives Matter thing, I want to play you this message that Farrakhan sent me and Puffy about no, White Farrakhan's Lives Matter. Truth, right. <laughs> you know, and I gotta man, this do say. You would never have to pee more times than on Ducey. Yo, pee right Jay, now, I gotta bro. talk to you, man. The Hennessy that'll make you have to pee this much, man. I mean, we gotta up our shit, bro. We gotta like. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Dale que tú puedes. I just wanna listen. White lives have always mattered because that's what caused Yaku. To be the god of this present world because he saw nothing and made something of it. He saw in the brown chair another man, another human, and he, Yaku, through a system of birth control. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I, I feel like I was making some noise for that. So, after the tug of Carson. Is black people called you and said, what's going on with you and Kanye? You know what I mean? Because, you know, Tuck Carlson is, uh, he the y'all of y'all. He, he on the other the side. Fox, y'all he on the other side. We on the other y'all. So did you get, like, any calls? I mean, I'm getting calls at all times, but, yeah, I feel what you're saying because <laughs> Tucker Carlson did the interview. I, I just feel like there was people in the group and shit, and the whole interview was just more like on some, like, a conversation about mental health. And it's hard for, like... Is it what, a conversation about mental health? Is that real? I just think that people don't know how to understand what they're dealing with now. They've always saw black people that were an athlete that would follow their contract, a rapper that would follow their contract, an, an actor that would follow their contract. They never had to walk into the room and deal with a black man that would have the audacity to give the most famous, most influential white woman in the <clears throat> world four black children that would have the audacity to wear a red hat or White Lives Matter t-shirt that would have the audacity to have multiple 100,000 square foot, 57,000 square foot warehouses that would have the audacity. They've never dealt with it. So between black people or white people, they've never seen this before. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So let's be easy on everybody. At the end of the day, we're all dirt beneath God. And we argue amongst each other. But my job as a Quincy Jones beneath, I'm not Moses, I'm Quincy Jones, right? And we're playing all a symphony, but we're all playing on different notes. Right. It's people that are there for greed. It's people there, it's all people there for, let's not say for the wrong reasons, but we're all here. And God calls me to bring everybody together. Good. Everybody together, the left, the right, the racist, the non-racist, the Christians, the atheists, the the straight, the the trans, the this, that, everybody. That's what God is calling. Do you accept calling. everybody to go? I accept everyone together because we're all, you know, we can't judge our sins. In mm. God's eyes, looking at somebody's wife and killing somebody is the same level of sin. It's mm. all the Let's equal level sin. Looking at, somebody. looking at somebody's wife and killing somebody is the same level sin. We should not be judged by man. We we perform for an audience of one, and right. that's God. Woo. Mm. And as he created this platform, we are here. Something about Miami. Something about Miami that's so close to the Dominican Republic, so close to Barbados. Yeah. So close, you, you know what I'm saying? So close 
it's something about this right here and drink right. champs. It's like, I mean, how does it feel that you're being used by God? You're used damn. by the actual creator. Damn, damn. <laughs> how does that feel? Fantastic. Because <laughs> I know I'm being used by God. Yeah. In the greatest way ever. Yeah. Who knew? Know? But let me tell you, it's like I'm 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 out here on Hundred Eighty Sixth Street in the suburbs of Chicago. Nigga try to shit on me and make history, supposedly. Bum. I was the man that was supposed to be the, the head, head of the clique. Listen, but nobody listen. says. Oh, 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 No, 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 Yay, yay, yay. I just want you to know, yay. Sometimes they try to solidify you and take you out of the culture. But I want you to know, when you come see Dream Champs, you will always be the culture. Yeah. You are the culture. Yeah. Yeah. And you can never be a part of not the culture. Yeah. When you with the Yallas. Yeah. Because you gotta come here. I'm sorry, talking Carlson. Great, great. <laughs> Good, morning. Good morning, America. Good morning. Oh, thank you. Good morning. <laughs> but when you sit to the Yallas, let's go. When let's you go. With the Culture. This is your culture, man. Like, you can never <laughs> fuck saying you can never be canceled culture. What the fuck? You never walked away from your culture. Cause you know what? We write motherfucking y'all. Yeah. We, we write, we write y'all. We write y'all. And I'm gonna tell you, all these hired people that the Democrats gonna hire, they're not here with us. They didn't grow up with the same shit as I looked at the dude for the meeting. I said, you didn't grow up. The Jordans didn't affect you. You didn't cry to your mom because you couldn't get the sixes. Mm. You're saying, this is the culture. This is who we are. You're saying, that's why I love Meek Mills. You, you understand what I'm saying? You're going there. Like, Meek Mills is in that. prison talking about, I'm going to fuck Rihanna. And, okay, we say, I'm going to say it some way. It's not disrespectful to uh, Rocky. Meek Mills was like in prison, like, yo, I'm going to bag this joint. And he did. Multiple joints. Boom, 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 boom. He you even got the Rocky fucked on, um, what you call it? No, I'm not you, doing, you know what we're saying? not doing that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? you, I'm just, you, you, I'm just you saying, it. I'm just saying respect to Rocky. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going I'm to I'm word this in a certain kind of way. You know what I'm saying? At, at the end of the day, Meek Mills, okay, from what I hear from Meek and when I'm from Kim, he never, he never, he never smashed, but it's other joints that's like in major situations that, you know, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I got to honor Meek Mills. You know what I'm saying? Big Sean came to me, he said, you know, I, I'm at, see, certain names is off limits because they're rocky, right? Right. So he's like, yo, Big Sean's like, I could have fucked da da da. And I was like, oh, yeah, and you didn't? What do you mean you didn't? You know what I'm saying? You got to understand, like, in certain ways of like, when a Meek Mills record plays, like, if you had a ball game, it hits in a different kind of way, bro. It's like, this is one of my favorite rappers. On, I mean, like, people used to tweet me, like, yo, we were here at Meek Mills, and, like, niggas is, like, literally, like, put their head down like this, you know what I'm saying? So it's, because I feel like niggas be playing with people right there, right? Meaning, like, what I'm talking about, what I talked about at the beginning of this. And they try to, like, position us against ourselves. For me, Meek Mills will never be, not be Meek Mills to me. Jeezy would never not be Jeezy to me. Right. Jay-Z would never not be Jay-Z to me. Nobody that we signed to, I just word it like that, you know what I mean. Jewish! <laughs> <laughs> but no, <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Where's Steve? We were signed to Steve. We gave him a round of applause for being signed to him. Where? Steve, Steve Rifkin? He's Where's here. Steve Rifkin? Steve we gave him away. Where, where's the Jewish guy we gave him a round of applause for being signed to him? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so, so what I'm saying <laughs> is Meek Mills will never not be Meek Mills to me. You know what I'm saying? Another thing is like, it's so funny I had to rap. And I was thinking all these rappers like, I will never speak ill on a black man in public. That's why I made Tremaine's nickname Tremendous. I made it better. I gave him the collection. I said, you know what? You at Supreme now, me, Bari, Ian Connor, Playboy Cardi, we support you in your position. We support you in your position. Because anytime any of us take a position inside of a white company, we need the whole culture to support us, not be against us. And that's why I gave Virgil the hug. Mm. But that's, mm. that's, that's like the biggest argument. It's like, why is Kanye going at Virgil after Virgil passed away? Well, the thing is, my thing is like, we never did a collaboration. See, I'm like Hannibal Lecter. I know where the killers is at. <laughs> They're not at LV, 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 LV. It's a different level of racism that we're dealing with than when you hit boom, boom, boom. They can't fuck with it. When you hit Marty Rose, they can't fuck with it. Y'all go want Candace on, uh, you can want Kamala all you want, but Candace Owens, they can't fuck with it. It's a different level that shows who we really are. Ice Cube mm. shows who we really are. Puff Daddy. Jay-Z, so many of us, we show who we really are. And if we go in and we take a job with Gap, Louis Vuitton, and we need to show who we really are, then we become the George Floyd. Y'all can take it like, that, like how y'all want it. And y'all can chop it up to make it the best. The best. But currently, we are under house arrest. As a people, we are under house arrest. So that's the reason why I fight for the house. Because even in fighting for the house, we understand what we need as a people to rise to the level of what the Jewish people were able to do, what the British people were able to do, mm. what the French people were able Bro. to do. We as a culture colonial need powers. to run our own culture. Because right now, it ain't no guarantee that thir- their future's 13 kids ain't gonna have to work for a Jewish Sorry. man again. Move. Take the picture. No, I feel like we, we did that already. No, we have to take the picture. I want to see how you edit this shit. No. <laughs> Let's go, take the picture! <laughs> I got a little bit of my daughter's game. <laughs>